what happened was is that you have what was it, Gundren Rock Gundren Rockseeker uh is having you take supplies to Phandalin. Uh used to be an uh, old mining town that's being restored right now. Um after after uh an orc attack wiped it out dozens of years ago. Not entirely sure how long. Um and on the way you found two horses that were slain. And when you came across to investigate investigate these horses, you were jumped. You were attacked. And uh after a harrowing battle with a bunch of gerblins, you managed to kill them off and now you are currently uh, standing in the middle of the road with a bunch of dead goblins and a couple dead horses. What are you all doing? Well, obviously we're about to eat the horses. All right, then. Nick, Nick, goes, for, Nick goes for horse burgers. So, can you redo the... So, I was trying to get the stream set up. Um... It's going ah. now, but so the context of the story is we've been hired by someone? Yes, you've been hired by Gundren Rockseeker to deliver supplies to Fandle. He's been hinting at something big lately. Um, you don't not sure what he is, he, what it is. He's been pretty tight-lipped, but he wants to meet you in Fandle to discuss more. Um, uh, but on your way to Fandle, you uh, come across a couple of dead horses in the middle of the road, and when you go to investigate, you're jumped by goblins. And a harrowing battle ensues. You ruthlessly and 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 almost without remorse uh, kill all the goblins, and then uh, and that's where you are. You you just kill all the goblins. You're standing in the middle of the road. With a couple of dead horses and a bunch of goblet bodies. What do you do? Uh, my first thing for the figure out is someone has sent them. Like they just like ran, like they were just like randomly attacking the horse when they randomly attacked the horses and we just happened to stumble upon them. Or someone sent them to basically kill them. Or see that. So it's context for Fandolin or this road, whatever this road is. Um So, this road is the this is a commonly traveled road. Yes, yeah. this is a commonly traveled. The you the spot you circled on here, right? That's where we're at. Uh, on actually, the high you'd probably road. be you'd probably be a little closer to. Let me let me get my. Can you bring up my, back up the map that we were fighting on? Yeah, because uh, I was gonna say if be a little closer, I, right by here. Okay, right off, right, right, right onto the tribal. That negates what I was gonna say because if we got jumped at the blue spot up there, I was gonna be like, "Well, obviously we're gonna get jumped again, so we should just cut the field." Yeah, no, no, no. You were you you had just turned onto the tribal trail not too long ago, so okay. you're going down the tribal trail. I was gonna uh, say, more so money instead of going along the trail would cut straight to Faladin through the field because there's obviously going to be another trap. Uh, well, that depends on the terrain. Yeah, like how hilly is this terrain? Looks right. like grass. <laughs> well, the terrain between here and Fan—I mean, there's a reason there's a trailer. The and you are and you are you are dragging a couple of wagons behind you, so. Um, oh, we, so we do. Draw, yeah. And and it's pretty thick woods. There's pretty thick woods between here and here and Fanlin. It's it's going to be. Uh, unless you want to get out the woodcutter's axe and spend a week cutting a trail to between you and Fandolin, it's probably not. Yeah, we need to get there fast, so it'd probably be best if we just keep going on the tribal trail, while also just being more vi uh, being more vigilant. You were, and a guy was muted the the entire time. <laughs> oh, lovely, <laughs> lovely, yeah. 
Uh, we are still with the with the dead horses right now, right? Yeah. Can yes, we? Yes, you're still with the dead horses. Yeah. Let me go ahead. And have that map. map. Ignore, I... ignore the ignore the strange looking people on the map. Um, <laughs> pretend I those are us. To... If if yes, that's the characters. Know. Yes. I wanted to check on the horses and see if they are carrying anything. Looking for maybe human or not goblin corp corpses around, you know, try to make something out of what happened here. Yeah, I was gonna say, do we know how the horses died? Like, is there an There's obvious wound? Arrows all over them. Yeah, there are arrows sticking out of horses. But yeah, go ahead and roll me an investigation check. Someone roll me an investigation check. If someone wants to help. Hello. Morning. 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 Let me try an investigation check. Also, that other map didn't load for me. I just got a little black box. Uh, there I go. Yeah, it takes a little while to load. Oh. How long is a little while? Uh, a couple minutes, maybe. Depending on how big the map is. Oh, because uh, we can roll with advantage, right? Yeah, um, uh, do you have the settings on your because i know you had to turn off your experimental optimized whatever settings in chrome to stream for youtube the other day um did you turn those back on the hardware acceleration yeah or? that one yeah. yeah 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 it's on and you might have to like hit the zoom in and out because that's what i had to do to get it to load um, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's the hardware acceleration i have that off still Okay. It's working properly. Already, but can I investigate the area for any deer trails or trails that have Yeah, trees? yeah, that's what we're just doing. Roll an investigation. Okay. Yeah. So if you're ready, you can yeah, go ahead and do that. You can roll an investigation. Okay. I would that's actually roll for roll for for checking for deer trails and stuff like that. I'd roll a survival check for that one. Okay. So I rolled an investigation for the horses. Can yes, I investigate I to see if there's a second path through that field that I said earlier? Uh, oh. survival for that one. Okay. Where do I even I, find that? Oh, can I shit. check on the goblin body <laughs> to see if they have any? Let me see if they have anything. Like, say, a survival is oh, gonna be uh, under your skills near the bottom. So I do survival. They're an they're an app above the order, so. Uh, so features and traits or no? It's under skills. It's under yeah. It's under your skills. Uh, what what does your screen look like? You may you may be a small screen. I'm not sure. Uh, no, it's a large screen. Um, yeah, it's well, it's, it's, the, it's like, like the right second right. column over. If you've got your screen expanded with your character sheet, there's gonna be like you'll see Dex, Wisdom, Arcana, oh, that, one. that one, and you'll look for. What was it he was doing? Oh, survival. Survival. Yeah. Not survival. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Uh, no, You're Nick, you do not. You don't. <laughs> you do not. You do not see any path through these woods. A more direct path through Fanel. In fact, when you look at the forest, it seems to grow thicker as you look at it. So. <laughs> Um, the trees have arrows pointing <laughs> on the path. <laughs> uh, okay. The so, trees are about uh, to attack. <laughs> well, let's 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 start let's start with the investigation on horses. Okay, obviously these horses were killed by Uh and with your investigation check, yes, they are arrows of goblin make for sure. Um you do remember that one of these horses looks like the horse that Gundren took. The fan handling. Gundren and remind me Gundren is he's the he's the dwarf that the dwarf. hired you to okay. bring the supplies to Fandling, yes. Can I check and the saddlebags? Uh, uh are there saddlebags? Well we'll we'll just go we'll just use your your current investigation for that. Yes, there are saddlebags. They have been they have been picked clean. Um, and, and I, um, but you do notice that there are no, there's no bodies for Gundren or Sildar Hallwinter, which was his, um, his, um, his guard. Mm -hmm. uh, 
and right. pin yeah. with your with your survival check you do notice that there is a trail leading off towards the north through the woods uh it does seem to be a a, a walking path not not something so large as to ride a horse through or um take a wagon through uh but you do notice that there are drag marks along the uh along the walking path head north i'll i'll hop up and down all excitedly you know tell <laughs> people be like i found something I, can i check the goblins to see if they have anything on them but they were just randomly attacking the horse uh Go ahead and go ahead and roll me another investigation. Yeah. Uh no, you don't. They, uh, <laughs> they, they I mean they're wearing, you know, st- standard goblin attire, you know, standard bandit attire. They got they got some cheap leather armor on and some short bows and but yeah, pretty much. But other than that, not much. Right. So you had said those were Gundren's horses, right? Yes, Gundren and Sildar's horses. Okay, so those are their personal horses, as in they were here. Yes. And now they're not. And now they're not. Right. That's uh, probably the problem. Um, I wanna, I wanna uh, grab um, oh, uh, like a, a bag from the horses, just to prove we have been here and seen the horses. All right. Yeah, you grab a you grab one of the horses' saddle bags and bring it with you. All right, my next thing would be trying to figure out okay, where did the uh, direction the horses came from? Are there any like footprint uh, footprints that are leaning forward? I say like. Oh well, the, you know that the horses came from the same direction that you did. Uh, they they said they went ahead of us, right? Yeah, they went. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying like any footprints or anything that they someone walked oh, and ran away from. Well, Pin found footprints and drag marks leading towards the north through that footpath. Okay, so we're just going to keep going on the footpath on the trail, or we had to go into the forest. So that's a I mean, group decision. What do we want yeah, to do? If, yeah, if you guys want to. Has Gundren already paid us? No. No. <laughs> Okay, so he I guess we have we'd to have some him. gold in our <laughs> in our inventory if we'd been paid. Well, I already have a whole bunch of gold, and I was saying that we need to try to find them. <laughs> especially that, especially given the fact that he ha- has something to, important to tell us. He can't really tell us if he's gone. He's got his wagons full of stuff, right? Yeah. How much is that worth? It's not really the time for you to be thinking about how much you know, the man's car is worth when he may be in serious danger. <laughs> <laughs> I will hog that car. You have no idea. <laughs> Everybody, everybody's worried about guns and get paid. It's like, a, where's my money? <laughs> money, please. <laughs> Am I gonna Look, get Nick. paid now? <laughs> Nick, looking like this. If we save the man, if we save the man. He'd be more probably willing to pay, uh, to pay you than if you were to abandon him. He just barely escaped the time that you saw his car. If he's dead, there's probably a house that's abandoned now that can also be sold. However, I doubt they would sell it. Unless he had a family, like, you don't know. But if, uh, like, but if you save him, he will more likely owe you more. Uh, owe you even. Yeah, yeah, let's go so save him. I, I say we go ch- try to help. If they're still alive, eh. uh, try to help. If not, vengeance. Get the goblins. <laughs> All right, get the weapons uh, out of here. Get ready to go. My fists are ready. Such a, I mean, a cobalt thing head, to say. You know, <laughs> I'm small and stoutish. I can get out ahead. You don't have to go and learn. I mean. Yeah, if you want. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, alrighty. Um, roll, roll me, roll me. Still. Roll me, yeah, roll me a. Uh, roll me a survival, a stealth, and perception check. Who? Three of them. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, self first. Survival. And then, what was it? Perception. Oh, is it, uh, am I in the daylight, or am I not? Consider other shapes, so I won't be disappointed. Yeah, it's a, it's, you're, 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 you're walking through this. I'll, I'll give it to you. Are people still damaged from that last fight that I didn't attend? Those are no, no, no. I'm just gonna... Everybody's fine. You're good to go. I ain't gonna make a big deal about it. Oh, yeah, we didn't good. use the same characters last time. We were just You're using not... practice characters. I'm not, oh, yeah. even, I'm not even gonna deal with that. I was just gonna say, because I gonna have some deal with really stuff I could do. Now you're gonna de try and figure that How crap out. Right? The... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay so... Uh, Pin is scouting ahead, Ooh. and oh, Pin manages to manages to follow this trail really well. And is Pin a he or a she? She. She. Thank you. Uh, she manages to um, she manages to keep a good eye out and uh, everything. And you guys arrive what look like a uh, let me start putting the people on the map I can't see, I can't see it like probably because we are yeah. not on there yet yeah I would love to be able to see the map it's okay yeah. let him do it. I think yep. he has to I'm add the putting... tokens <laughs> okay Curtis and Pin you both had the same uh, the same picture so Oh, let me, let me, let me, let me, I was trying oh, to figure that out. How do I change it? Uh, you click on it, and you click on uh, edit at the top right hand corner when your character sheet comes up. Character sheet. Yeah, in roll twenty. I did edit it so you could change it, right? Yeah, I'm looking. Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, you click on edit at the top right, and you'll have. And put your avatar in and everything. Um, but right, let's see. Uh, they, did they make it so you could? Okay, fog of war is off. Where's the light here? I think I need to close out roll twenty and reopen it because it's just refusing to show that map. Well, I'm not seeing it yet either, so. That better? No. Let me see. Well, okay, maybe I may have to give your... That private. Is my token on there? Uh, Is it? I don't see it. How about there. now? Can you see oh. now? Yes, now I can. Neato. Yeah, it's because it doesn't automatically give tokens vision. Okay, oh, yeah, I now it. I see it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 50. Hold on, I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see. Oh, it doesn't automatically give okay. tokens vision? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, it there it is. Is it there or not right now? Assuming day? Because well, would we be traveling at night? Depends on uh, how long you're traveling. It might go into the night. <laughs> how much yeah, let's... picture? Let's say it's daytime. Let's say it's daytime. Okay. Um, um, Chris, how do I change my picture real quick? Uh, click on your character under players. Curse nowhere. And then there's edit. Up right. Someone immediately died. Oh, well, like, I just, <laughs> uh, accidentally clicked on that. I'm trying to. Okay, so go back to players. Alrighty, so pin and pin for the win. vision. There we go. Yay. Uh, okay, so. Nothing here. Awesome. All right. So you all, um, you all, 
arrive at what looked like uh, what looks like an old cave. Um, there seems to be a stream running through it, and uh, as you guys are all approaching said cave, uh, hold up, I gotta check something here real quick. Is it a dark cave? It does not seem to be dark, no. There seems to be some light coming out. Not a lot. Maybe from can, uh Can I do an <laughs> investigation check or do we need to wait for you doing something? Chris is just gonna keep me from using my dark vision at all times. Give me one sec. And uh, no, no, you're good. You're good. So I can do an investigation check. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead and do an investigation check. <laughs> okay. What are you What are you investigating? Um, to see what's going on with this cave. Are there any? Is there a confirmation that there are any signs that this is where the foots the prints led to? And is there anything suspicious going on with this cave? Well, there does seem to be a torch burning at the mouth of the cave. Um, but uh, other but, than that, yeah, I, I rolled an eight. I mean, so. they're, they're, <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you know, you know, torch here. I'll even put. Yeah, I'm trying not to do too much. I'm there trying to stay quiet. Stuff. Awesome. Uh, so there, yeah, there's a torch burning at the mouth of the cave, and um, are you trying to stay quiet? Yeah. But uh, other than that, you don't know too much. Okay. Okay. What do y'all want to do? And so Not the the it. torch is, is lighted, right? The torch is lit, yes. Well, it's lit, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> no, you're good, dude. Um... What did you, you say? Is that? Did somebody disguise me as a beaver? <laughs> did we take any what clothes off the I goblins did, back there? Yeah, did you take I any clothes? How far away is it? I have a disguise in my inventory. <laughs> <laughs> disguise kit, nice. Yeah, uh, I got yeah. a costume. If you if you all want to go head back and grab some goblin gear and yeah. and, and and goblin up pin real quick. Yeah. I don't think like the goblins may be dumb bouncing and think it's bad. Uh, you can cool. trust. <laughs> Wait, don't challenge the dummies. Well, how you know, like how tattered are their clothes after we killed them? Uh, we uh, turned told... some of them into some goody good jelly. Yeah, you gel, you jellified some, but some of didn't them. look. Some of them didn't look too bad. I'm pretty Dude, sure I'm that the goblin go gear won't fit through. me, and I'm pretty sure that my flaming red hair isn't going to look like very goblinish. So there were like, there were like nine goblins. I'm sure between <laughs> the, the 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 lot of them, you could probably find some goblin clothing with like enough. I'm just gonna use it as like a like a, a branding. People are gonna tell, you know, like when they mm -hmm. see me, they'll be like. Are you kick back from the, the thingy? You guys should come back and go get the horses and more and more thingy. My Tom Arnold. So okay, you're wanting to go in by yourself or what? Well, we need a scout eventually. No, 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 no. I ain't gonna go with me. I ain't gonna go with me. Risky. Very risky. At least let us hang back I have a literal stuff. disguise kit. Yeah, it's just fine. Does he have to roll any kind of skill check for a disguise or? Um, it's a proficiency hmm. thing. Yeah, it's a proficiency thing. Yeah, you'd um, you just roll the skies kit. How do I even do that? <laughs> so, Shoot, I'm not sure you can. I don't know if you can. It's just an inventory item, isn't it? Yeah. Would it be a deception? Yeah, it says utility deception. Yeah, I go ahead and I just go ahead and roll a deception check. And I just closed that. Sorry. 
Ignore that. My deception's okay. minus one, so whatever we do, <laughs> don't that. <laughs> All right. So you roll an eighteen, and uh, mm. you get you get pin. Uh, you manage to uh, pin. Now looks like looks like a pretty pretty passable goblin. Did she roll a deception? Oh, she'll roll a deception with advantage whenever she needs to make a. A okay. Against, uh, I can't wait till she walks in the door. She's and just around gets the same size. Yeah. If I just start waddling over, really stealthily though. Mother you start stealthily waddling over. Okay. Um, <laughs> What's your speed? Go ahead. I forgot what your speed is. Just a stealth, do you want me? Not twenty-five. Yeah, just roll. <laughs> just roll a stealth check. Um, yeah, it, it, it should be twenty-five. Wow. <laughs> you rolled the same you... thing twice. Uh, two oh. on the dice. Wow. But hey, you manage. Nothing seems to notice you. Oh, great. Wait, Tell me. Why? I'll, 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 I'll say I'm about to the, am, am I at the mouth of the cave then? Huh? Yeah, go ahead and move your token. Okay, cool. <laughs> What's considered a long, long rest? Can I, so I, I can see those boys? Yes, you can see those boys and those boys. They don't notice you just yet. What are they doing? They're they're being they're 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 just sort of sitting, chatting, and goblin and being generally lazy, That's not fair. paying attention to anything. I'll 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 scoot back and tell the the goblins around the corner. Which corner? Well, I, have a I have a disadvantage of stealth, so I can't really sneak up on these guys. It's so. round in bushes. Round in bushes. bushes. <laughs> they're they're kind of dumb. They're not paying attention. I mean, I take a step in a twig, and they didn't notice. So, do we want to? What do we want to do then? I guess it'd be good to like take out those goblins, just in case. Like, if we do have. A uh, they may call on, uh, they may call for reinforcements. Can I can I look for an alternate way of going around and let them be like maybe um, whack them from the back, you know? Um, yeah, Try to if you want. Them. Yeah. yeah, go ahead and give me a. Um... Wait, before you do that, what is a long rest? Because I eight. can buff on a long rest. Uh, eight hour rest. Nice okay, so we're probably not doing that. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, probably not. Pro proceed with slaughtering. Unless you want to camp out with the goblins. Do you, so shall I do a stealth or survival? What are you doing? Um, are you trying to get through? You're just trying to get through the brush. Are you trying to do it stealthily? I'm, I'm looking for. I'm looking for a, a, a place to flank. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give me a survival check. I probably won't be stealthy because I don't want to like announce myself. <laughs> okay, yeah, give me a survival check first to see if you even you even manage to find find a path to reach among them. Oh wow. Okay. Um. So Same. you uh you and actually I ran do... a stealth too, so I can help. And I yeah, go ahead. I just ran one. It's a twenty-two. Okay. Well, uh, Pin, you managed to find a uh, a. Uh, a little sort of like it looks like some small animal may have crawled through here at some point and uh you decide to crawl in use use the path that they made to crawl uh to try and crawl through these brambles to see if you can flank with these goblins is it okay uh, go, enough for a small size like me or can i wave up uh, you're gonna have to squeeze through yeah okay um that's only small enough for you yes and okay, uh you I'll squeeze through and hang out and wait for them to come. Okay, now give me a stealth check. Now give me a stealth check. Please be better than two. Well, there you okay. go. Thank you, thank you. Yes, you are very stealthy. You oh, no, figured that, these, <laughs> that these goblins don't expect anything to actually crawl through the brambles. So, you're okay. You're fine. Okay. Oh. Would you consider me prone at the moment, though? Yes, I would. <laughs> uh, Alice, that. Uh-huh. Uh, you're stealthy. 
the yeah. goblins don't notice you. Uh, I was just going to come around the um, corner. I wasn't going to go through the... I was going right to go... Here? Yeah, where? Yeah. Yeah, you can move up. Yeah. All right, how far can we... Like, How far is like each space between us? Like, how much space? Well, each block is five is... feet. Yeah, each block is five. I'm going to put right. you right about, right about here. Okay. I was like, that's not really much of a flank. Are goblins, like, intelligent at all? Can you, like, communicate with them? Yeah, they speak common. Actually, yes, you can. They speak common? Do any of you speak I... goblinoid? Um, no, I do not. I speak nope. common, halfling, primordial, and undercommon. I don't know what undercommon is. I'm not even sure where to find that. <laughs> it's on your sheet under um, the bottom left. Uh, do I need to, like, put, like, anything, like, for me trying to, like, I got both, I'm to say, like, get close to him, trying to get close without them noticing. That's the stealth check. Yeah, that's the stealth check. Oh, and damn, you well, are wearing to... heavy armor, so you would have disadvantage. I was saying, like, unless I'm, like, real sneaky. So, how far would I have to be away from them before they would notice me? You have to do a uh, stealth depends check. On how much, depends on how much noise you make. Oh, dear lord. Okay, uh, I'm gonna okay, common I'm gonna... elvish giant is what you speak, Nick. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> giant. So, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, I would need to speak goblin to be able to converse with them, or you would need to or... speak goblin to to hear what they were saying, because they're currently uh, speaking goblin. I was gonna try and convince them to come out and then have everybody jump them. That would be persuasion. Okay, right? I'm too far away. <laughs> Yes. But yeah. I'm pretty sure I could do it. <laughs> All right. Let me uh, let me see if I can move forward enough for uh, forward a bit. I'm not going to cross the river yet. I'm going to move right here for now. Do they see at this? Give me a stealth check. Oh boy! Here we go. With disadvantage, Mr. Heavy Armor. <laughs> so I'm gonna oh, get into, well, right? into these bushes. Yes, disadvantage. And I think I need uh, another stealth check, right? Well, you, the bushes are really thick. They're actually like thick brambles. The only reason Pin could get through is because she She's a small creature, and she could oh, okay, okay. go squeeze through tiny holes, and she's prone right now and everything, too, so, you know. Okay, okay, okay. That was the, you... the small gap, yeah. Yeah, and I'm, um, up, I'm currently up at the corner. They haven't noticed me because I'm <laughs> stealthy. <laughs> oh, great, a four. What's the eight right next to it? That's uh, no, you you have disadvantage. So you, you did two twenty. You did two d twenty rolls. Sorry, Chris. Yeah, you, you can do it. Yeah. No, no, no. You're you you're good. Can I do a dexterity thing? Nope. No. Uh, so so the uh, goblins know we're here. <laughs> so uh, Curtis Curtis tries really hard to be stealthy. He's, he, but the thing about it is, is that he's a paladin. It sounds like he has pots tied to his legs. And he starts climbing through, climbing through the underbrush. He, uh, he steps on a, a, a very large stick and he's making a lot of noise. And the goblins, the goblins, they perk up. And they're going to, they're going to do, they're going to do. And they're going to look my way, aren't they? They're gonna look your way. You're still stealth. They're gonna look your way. Oh. Wow. They rolled bad. <laughs> they rolled really bad. All right. Then. They're stupid. <laughs> it looks like their like their wisdom is worse than my song. <laughs> so they're up. They're suspicious. They're looking around. Um, not very well. But uh, you guys are gonna get. Uh, go ahead and I'll give you one more chance to do something. What do you guys want to do? 
How far the... can I move? I'm gonna have my crossbow out. Can I... Can I go ahead and, since I'm still stealth, do a surprise attack? Or... Uh, yeah, if you guys want to, if you guys want to attack real quick, you can. Uh, Nick, you can move, you can move, like, in battle, you can move up to 30 feet. Uh, but since we're technically still out of battle right now, you don't need to worry about that. Just move where right. you want to. Because I'm going to position up, like, over here. I run uh, like. Okay. I rush the uh, can I rush like the first goblin that I see and just like I begin to attack so they would focus on me before anyone else. Uh, after everyone else moves up first. Well, we already have uh, uh, Ellis that in pin. Uh, We're the in closest position right now. Yeah. They're the closest right now. So if anybody's gonna attack, it's probably those two. I don't see another thing in the cave that doesn't look like a goblin. Stop that! Don't make me! Don't make me put! Don't make me put it! Put How it on you night see mode. In the cave right now? I can see in the night. I can see in the cave. There's walls in the cave. Well, he does have dark vision. You're not even. You're not even in the cave yet. I'm outside. I have a a little clip okay. view. Okay. Oh, there like we go. There might be a bear in that cave. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you, know, you can't be telling us this right now. You don't see nothing. You see nothing. <laughs> My skill is literally to do that. You ruined me. <laughs> so right now we're trying to get past these two stupid goblins. So it did you? Do you need to do any kind of? Does he need to do any kind of stealth check to move up there, or is he fine? Uh, yeah. Go ahead and give me a stealth roll, real quick. Might as well. Nick, stealth. Okay, you're good. But I probably didn't hit. Uh, yeah, so... Pin decides to shoot at a goblin. <laughs> and... <laughs> completely misses. It whizzes, like, five feet over the goblin's head. And the goblin looks up like, What? I and... Go ahead and give me another stealth check. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, dang. Anyway. You <laughs> want natural 19. Uh, anyway, uh, Alice, that if you want to, if you want to do something, now, now it's a chance. Okay, I'm gonna. So I am a monk, so I'm going to. Do a one two. Unarmed strike to each one. Run Can I do that? Yeah. yeah, it's like right here, and then one two. So right. first, the one on the, on like below me. Okay. So that one. So if I'm a surprise attack, do I do like advantage or anything? Um. Well, pin already attacked. Yeah, I oh. have advantage too because I was a. Uh, I was. Um, oh yeah, does she need to roll another one or? Uh yeah sure go ahead. Okay, that one does hit. Go ahead and go ahead and attack. Uh, roll roll damage. Alrighty, so yeah. You manage hit this one. goblin right here. Yeah, one sneak attack. Dang. Oh yeah, because I only did one d6. And the goblin. Ah, ah, what? And he looks. He looks. He looks pretty bad off. And um, I will consider. Uh, I will consider that the start of combat since you dealt damage. So. We're gonna go ahead and roll initiative now. Okay. So my my attack isn't happening yet. Okay. No, not yet. Oh, my um, I'll pop out. Nope. Shoot. Hang on. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, do I have to select my token before I roll? I rolled yeah, a nineteen. Yeah, you have, to, you have but... to select your token, then roll. Put yourself onto the initiative. Yes. 
can you add me to the initiative, or do I just need to roll again? Uh, you, you need to roll again, and then and then you can actually change the owner name. Okay, so I, uh, so I need to come a right. Uh, so I click on my character, and I do what? Roll and then you thing? click initiative on your sheet. Okay. Uh, Ron, I think you forgot to click. Did you click your character before rolling initiative? Your token. Uh, no, no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Not you can actually. Okay. You all can. You all can change your own initiative on the initiative tracker. Oh, okay. why is so bad? So, twenty-three. I'll change yours, Ron. You're good. Okay. You need to put that. your dice in the microwave. <laughs> Oh, it was a 15. That's not bad. No, I'm talking to... Uh, well, he kept asking if <laughs> why he rolls so bad. I'll roll for Nick. There we go. 18. That's not bad. I have some really cool dice that I can't use. Uh, both, <laughs> you and, both you and Nick have the same... Oh, wait. No, never mind. You roll the mic. I gotta put the tiebreaker on your side. Alrighty. Yeah, he was the guy that next on him if he was a person. Well, he does Ron. it. Ron! Ron's first. Hey. first. Uh, I can move five or five of these squares, or, or six, because I can move so 30 Each square is five. Yeah, each square is five. So yeah, you can move six of them. But you have to move and around the bushes. Yeah, you have to move yeah. around the bushes. And a diagonal the square yeah. is still five feet. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so one, two, uh, four. Okay, now I see the goblins. Yes. And I'm just gonna uh, hit the. How do how do I ping? You just uh, click and hold. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, that go. one, the one in the north. Okay. So I just, uh, bam. Eleven does not hit. No. <laughs> and can I move out of the way so anyone can come in, I guess? Yeah, if you want. We can move through and though, right, oh, yeah. allies? Okay. Uh, unless I say otherwise. Oh, okay. I mean... Yeah, okay, so I move there and take over, and that is my turn. Okay. Mm. Alrighty, next on the list is Pin. Come on, Pin. I wish you were in there so I could have the advantage. Actually, <laughs> I'm just going to stealth into the brambles because I'm not in the worst position to. Well, you already stealthed into the brambles. You have half co does she so have half had, cover? Oh, yeah, that's right. So okay, I yeah, that was after your failure. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go stealth in. Hello?
Hey, welcome to the There you go. Go ahead and give me uh Yes. Hello. Oh, oh so that is because that wasn't Well you can stealth as a bonus action. Not yet. Or am I at level, level yet? Yeah, you're at level two. Oh, okay, cool. So not I guess I yeah. can Okay, minus ten. That's a dead gerblin. That is a dead gerblin. <laughs> Coco, you live? Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm on my iPhone hotspot right now. Yes. Ah. Well, so, what do you want to do? So that one goblin's dead now? Yeah, one of the goblins is dead. The other one's still up. So I'm going to come in and do a one-two on that one then. The Alrighty, arm strike. Punch it in the face. Punch it in the face. Oh, uh, I need to select my token. Why did it? Why didn't it work? So it rolled a ten. Uh, what? The first one rolled a ten. Do you see it? What? What is with? What is? Why is it like that? What? It's saying you rolled a critical on a 10. I'm confused. Yeah, that's weird. Do I need to select... What am I supposed to have selected? Anything? So yeah, you rolled a 10. A 10 doesn't hit. No, don't, don't, don't worry about it. It's just really So then the sorry. second punch... I thought, I thought it was like a D10. Yeah, I thought I thought that was like the damage you caused. Or something. What is what is with this? This is weird. Okay, so yeah, you're old Nathan. Go ahead and play him. So I'm streaming is terrible quality, so I'm just gonna stop streaming. Ah, I'm so annoyed. Words cannot describe how annoyed I am right now. <sighs> my dog powered off my PC. <laughs> Did you roll damage on the arm strike? No. Hold on. I don't know. Okay. Why is it? Okay, that's weird. Okay, so you does. So it damage. should should have been one d four plus two. Yes, that first one five damage. All right. Okay. This goblin, you basically punch him really, really hard in the face, and his nose starts bleeding. He's bloodied. Is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And then that's it for my turn. Alrighty, this goblin, he's pretty angry that you went ahead and punched him in the face, and he's mm -hmm. going to attack you with his scimitar. That's a 17 hit. Yeah. That is 5 slashing damage. So do I put that on the token or on my sheet? Put it on your sheet. Okay. Alrighty. Next up, Nick. What are you gonna do? How far can I throw? Uh, depends on what you're throwing. The dagger in my inventory. Uh, it should have a long, short range. Uh, oh, indicator on it. That? 
Oh, Spain. Uh, is that range. the 2060? Uh, uh, try equipping the dagger. Yeah, 2060. That's it. Oh, okay. 20 feet. So 60s with disadvantage? 20, 60s with disadvantage. 20 feet would be with it. With, you know, just a regular throw. Okay. There, yeah, yeah, it looks like you, you just move up just a little bit. You can probably do it. Okay, I'm going to try and get to that bank over there. If it lets me move. You can do it. Boink. That should put me in within range. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to yeet that right at him and hopefully not hit Coco in the process. Don't roll a one. <laughs> what am I rolling for it? Uh, just roll a dagger attack. By what? Just roll the dagger hit attack. Dagger attack. Where do I even roll that from? Yeah, where sheet. it says hit, hit DC on your character sheet. If you hover over that number, there should be a little B D twenty icon that comes up. I'm I'm trying to find that number. On the. Shoot, dude. Oh, no. I see. Got it. Got it. Got okay. it. Sorry, I'm looking at different pages. Hold on. Uh, sixteen hits. Yeah, roll damage. Where do I roll that from? It's the uh, next over. Oh, I yeah, see. Next over. Yeah. Gotcha. They made it almost simple. <laughs> oh. Well, look at that. Nick. Dead. You take this dagger. You. And you you pull it out, you flip it by hold it by the blade and toss it at this goblin. It spins end over end and lands right in the goblin's throat. Hey. Beautiful. And blood and splashes is, all over me. Yes, pretty much. Gushing. Just like just like the Japanese <laughs> anime, blood just comes gushing all over me and I'm covered in red now. Yes. <laughs> there seems to be more blood, more blood in this goblin that is, than is, is physically possible. possible. Yes. <laughs> and you are just completely soaked in it. Yeah. It matches my hair. <laughs> the river turns red. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And thus ends this, this round of combat. Hey, we, we survived. Yeah, I, I took, I took some damage back. though. I think I'm the only one that took damage, huh? Yeah, you're the only one who took damage. Yeah. <laughs> that goblin took a whole lot of damage. It doesn't count. <laughs> okay, so Wait, when's that bear gonna attack us? Moves? What was that? Who? Bear? What are you talking about? I wish to loot the bodies. Ah. Uh. Make them feel good. <laughs> Go ahead and give me an investigation check. Go ahead and loot my dagger back, please. There's some pretty, I mean, there's some, there's some armor on them that is probably worse than what you got, and um, their short bows are kind of okay. Um, but other than that, you don't find much. Let's go. I want the copper bracelet. Uh, goblin cobalt rifle. I don't know if that's what you want. Hmm. Wait, is that one on? Oh, it's that. Oh, you all right? Took some damage from that scimitar. I have medical, but I don't think I have a medical kit. I completely forgot to increase the level of your character, Nick. Oh, he's only level one. He's only level one. Oh. I'll fix that real quick. Well, <laughs> experience. You suddenly get something new. Does he get anything new? I change this. You get yes. more H you'll get more HP. Why did why did Stepping you do away a second? No, it's supposed to be four hundred. Oh I, I didn't meant to do that. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. There we go. Yes, you are now level two, Nick. Congratulations. Here, I'll change it for you. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You taking him to the level of bard? Yeah. Okay. Where, where would I even see the changes happen in this? Uh, you're gonna have to reload your page. 
the D and D Beyond page. Yeah. The D and D Beyond page. Yes. Uh, okay. Does Roger, Bard get new it. skills? It. I hope so. He gets uh, Jack of All Trades, which is really nice because he adds half of his proficiency bonus to anything that he's not proficient in. Mm. And uh, he gets Song of Rest, which is um, if you or any friendly creatures who can hear your performance regain hit points at the end of a short rest by spending one or more hit die, each of those creatures regains an extra 1d6 hit points. So. Both really good features. Alrighty. Alright. Well, then, if we rest, I can heal Coco. Well, you'd have to take a short rest, and that's an hour. And uh, things will change. Just saying. Hmm. Up to you, Coco. Oh. Uh, uh, what does everyone else in... want to do? Well, it would be good to make sure that you get the full health out. I think it'd be best for me to like keep a look, uh, keep a lookout, like from the cave, if anything might come. Control tap with all you guys. We don't know, yeah, what else is going on in there. There's a bear in there. So, but it's not uh, true. But we, uh, but it would be best to make sure that you at least get healed a bit. I can uh, my, I can't fully heal your damage, but I can use some of my, uh, some of my lay on hand. So, Chris did just make a comment. Comment? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what if we say here, we're going to get jumped. No, Chris, did you legitimately see this bear from, like, the mouth of the cave? Because I have dark vision as well. Yeah, I was... I don't I don't see anything. Because like, he, he took it off. He it took was off the bear. So were it... you standing here, or, like, here that you saw it? Hold on. <laughs> what? Let me show you. <laughs> I was right here, and there was a bear right here. Whoops. There was a bear? <laughs> there was a bear right there. You're, you're <laughs> and Chris took it off. I, I think Chris is it. messing with you. <laughs> oh, what? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you know, not at all. I saw that bear. I think, in that I think Chris needs to make a deception bear? check. Pin feels the need to go <laughs> out. Um, you guys can figure out if you want to do lay at hands or something, because it's going to take a few minutes for you. Yeah, I'll use yeah, some I'm of my. Out south in here. I'll use some of my land. I don't. I don't feel like too. wait. I don't feel right waiting around too long if we don't know what's happened to the two people that were on those horses. True. So, everyone want to move forward? Oops. No, not everyone. I don't. Ooh, want. that's good. Uh. Okay, have a I'll, I'll do. I'll do like. Around the corner rooms at a time. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, whoop. Um, I guess I'm going to kind of follow her up because I have that long range vision. I can kind of see I'll... something here. Um, uh, you, you give me a stealth check, right? Yeah, the stealth check. All right. Um. So you're looking. You're looking that way. Yeah, I'm just gonna go like around the corner. So like, I'll hang around the corners and stuff. All right. Well, as you're going past there, you notice that um, just inside the cave mouth, uh, there's a few uneven stone steps that lead up to a small, dank chamber on the east side of the passage. Um. Are you going to investigate that chamber? Um. I can see through the chamber a little bit. I'm not going to say what's in there because um, I don't want to ruin the experience yeah. for the other one. So, <laughs> what are you looking at? You already, you already, you already, <laughs> there. <laughs> is, this, is this what happened with the bear? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you just, exactly. You just came out of my view. <laughs> but you already saw it. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. 
Do it on me. <laughs> um, fine. I'll just do it up here so I can see what's going on in these two zones. Okay, and I noticed something over there. Um, so, wait, what is, so my dark vision, uh, the way that Roll20 does, is what I see on the screen what I can actually see as a character, or is it just lighting up the whole zone? have the whole thing lit up. I wasn't going to mess with dark vision until I got your token set, so I just lit the whole thing up. Okay, so what's my, like, what's my, um, my, uh, dark vision length? 60 feet. So, have you used Roll20 before? Um, yeah, you're good. You're oh, good. good. You're good. You're good. Um, can I get a, uh, can I do a general insight of, uh, the cave? Like, because I'm, I'm sure there's echoes and stuff going on. Can I figure out if there's, like, hustling, if there's, like, um... Uh, give me a perception check. Perception? Mm-hmm. Oh. You don't, <laughs> you don't really notice anything. Uh, some cave dripping, some general, like, I don't know, like cave sounds. This this water rushing through this cave is actually making a lot of noise, so it's kind of hard for you to hear anything else. So, yeah, you don't you don't really notice anything. All right. Um. Uh, you do know you do see this bridge up here, up here. Mm -hmm. If I can ping it, if it'll let me ping. Yeah, ping. I see the bridge. You see the bridge. You see this bridge. Um. I'm assuming that's like a whole second there. Yeah. It goes across it goes across the path that you're currently on right now. Alright. I and am going to uh halt it. Um, oh and by by the way, you don't actually see anything this way. Uh because up here there's actually this is uh, these right here, they're like inclines, steep inclines leading up. So basically they're cutting off your vision into this room right here. I couldn't fix that, so um can I see if there's light at all that's peering over? Ah, uh, there seems to be. Okay. Have an idea. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I can't hear that idea because you're too far away. Um. <laughs> I mean, you can tell everybody, everybody that you're with right now what your idea is. True, true, yeah, you're right. So, when I looked in before, up over, how do you ping? Uh, basically, you click the select mode and then just hold it down. Okay, so over go. here, there is a little cut-in inside that I could see. Mm -hmm. I say yeah. we go all hide inside there and try and draw everything else that we know is going to be up in there out down here and do a surprise attack. Like, how it leads in more. I don't want to risk, you know, overlooks and... Because they're going to have a better vantage point over somebody else that can get to it. Um, I'm going to go ahead, back out, and return to the group. You did roll me a cell tech. Yes, you did. 19. Okay, we're yeah, good. Yeah, 19. I can use the same one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You guys. So. Oh, what's up? Um, the room in the, the little cubby hole to the... Uh, select and then hold it down. Hold it down. Oh, I was right. So, uh, the room to the height, um, there's cupboards. There's, like, I would say, I, I wouldn't call them direwolves. They're cupboards. There's, I, they keep on scooting around, um, but, uh, <laughs> I, I, I had clocked it from three at least. Um, and, uh, puppers, they bark, so... It's definitely an alarm kind of system. Um, as I went further in, there's light coming up from, like, up over a little cavern thing. So there's potential, like, a, a place that um, people might be hanging out in. Um, I'm just keeping in mind, because it looks like this cave system has two stories. And there's also a, a, a bridge about to come out. It does go further in. I just don't want to risk until I had some uh, backup. Meat shields. Oh, exactly. yeah, backup. Yeah. Right. Oh. So there is 100% doggos in this area. 100% doggos. 
Yeah, I told you there weren't any bears. How many doggos? Right. They're doggos. <laughs> How many dogs? So, uh, I clocked three. There were no bears. There's no way we're all going to sneak past them. Especially mm. a window. Maybe so, I can try to come Well, I have some food that I can get me back. I could get more smell of them on me by smearing their, you know, I could scalp them, but get that, get the nice, the goblin scent and just plop it on my head and then, uh, give me some meat and then I could try to do a, you know, calm them down. I have some of my, would that be like animal handling or something? Nothing you'd ever need. So wait, did I get healed or no? Uh, you can tame creatures, can't you? Last time I did this on, last time I did that on this module, my group tamed an owl bear. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll use the same rules. Please don't try to tame the owl bear. Can owl I bear? tame the wolf? <laughs> Right. Okay, hey. here's the thing. This is also, this here's is also a pack situation, too. And I here's, have... there's three Whatever. of them. You have to succeed on three. If you're gonna tame any of these wolves, you're not gonna like instantaneously tame it and throw it out at people like right away. It's not gonna work that way. It's gonna take time to actually tame it to a point. No, I think fight. we just don't want to make sure that they're not barking. No, I was literally just going to lead them out of the cave, like, go away. Yeah, yeah, like, release. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, that's... I mean, yeah, if you want to give that a shot. Yeah, I got, like, a plus two at animal handling. I don't know if that's considered good. I got plus three. Okay, I, so got you plus go do it. I got plus two. I've got my animal plus handling. two. Okay. Um, I guess I'll try it. I'm going to go ahead and just add, um... Just try to add as much, uh sense of the goblins on me so that the gory I mean I don't want to make it bloody well I've already I'm already covered in their blood <laughs> but it's go blood. give Vivi a hug <laughs> yeah. Here, yeah here let me just hug you yeah, how, about, and... how about instead of like <laughs> um, yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and it sounds gross but if it, they're just sweaty I'm just gonna like rub their sweat on me and stuff and I already disguised as one mm -hmm. um, I'll get like I'll probably just, like, grab a, lo a lock of hair or something and put it on my side. And I'm, I just want to make myself smell like a goblin as much as possible. All right. Um, and then, yeah, I'll just... Uh, so I want to... So... Oh, wait. Um, Curtis was saying that, earlier like, about order, right? lay on hands. Did he do it or did he not do it? I did not do I did not do because you think that we need to keep moving. You want me to heal you now? Because I only can able to do up to ten hit points. Right, so I would say I would hold on to those that I'm at I'm still okay, but I don't know how much more damage I end up taking. But so, yeah. How much of you have left? I have sixteen. Okay. You're, I'll say you're good for a little bit, but if you start to take mm -hmm. more damage, I'll heal you immediately. Yeah. So, I'll give I'll give Kent my, uh, one of my rations. You know, I don't know to feed the animals. See if we can get on better. So, what if time. we gave them goblin meat? Is that Would that make them, like, crave goblins? Mm. <laughs> well, we could try, but would that go to the starter stomach? Huh? But you're wanting, you're worried about upsetting the wolves' stomachs. Well, I mean, like it's not pleasing to the taste. It may try to bite us. Uh, sure. Let's cut the go uh, but sure. Let's cut the goblins and turn the meat. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll cut off a hank of their uh, thigh meat. Yeah, get a good cut. Um, <laughs> hold on. Let me use. Uh, Hold on. These wolves have a refined palate. <laughs> Only the fine and 
finest cuts of goblin All right, people do. So I got a nice <laughs> handful. Hey, nice hey, handful well, of raw drippy meat. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna, go, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go over here and just casually walk in. The uh, the wolves immediately start barking at you. Woof woof, woof bow wow. Rough, so rough. is she still under stealth or no? Uh, no. She says she just casually walks in. Um, okay. It's okay. It's okay, puppy. So but then. they do, they do, they do see the hunk of meat in your hand, and they kind of, they kind of, they kind of look, stare at it, and uh, go ahead and give me a animal handling check with advantage, since you're goblin disguised. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, seventeen. Ooh, you're lucky because that first one wasn't gonna work. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, you toss them the uh, hunk of gobble meat, and they start, they start, they start fighting over it and uh, chomping at it, and they ignore you. Are they in leashes? Uh, each uh, you notice that the chains uh of each uh wolf uh around the chains around the necks are leading to uh, iron rods stuck in these stalagmites here. Okay, so it looks like they would have range of the whole cavern then, or the, hmm? they would have range over the whole uh, the whole room here. Um, yes, okay. for the most part. Uh, so I'll just I'll just exit out and I'll be like I gotta give them some food. They seem to be uh, they're fighting over it, so I should probably give them some food. Okay, you know so should we sprint past them? I mean, did you want to try letting them loose? They're yeah. they're on chains. We're going to get some more meat for them, though. Hmm. Just to keep them entertained with food. I mean, they're occupied now. We only got to get past them. I mean, they did bark a little bit, so I mean, it's possible they would have alerted. Oh well, I'm still leaning towards. They've been, they've been kind of bark. I'm, I'm, they've been kind of barking and whining this whole time. Oh, it seems that okay. they're in a, a constant like state. Of, it wasn't like a <clears throat> aggressive kind of barking. It was kind of like I'm acknowledging yeah. their existence. Bark. Yes, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> um. Well, yeah. If you guys want to just walk past them and ignore them, we can just do that. Can do. I'm gonna, yeah, sure. Let's go. I'm gonna let's go. Let's just throw some extra meat in there for them, just to keep them preoccupied and tense. So oh. we just leave them be. So yeah, I'm uh, just gonna go ahead and just cut off another hind. <laughs> yeah, like let's get uh, like let's get a bit more preoccupied. Let's go for some stuff. Yeah, uh, they they don't know you, so I wouldn't get too close. But um, I said I'm gonna give you the food. I'm just gonna okay, okay. cut up and give give them some full limbs so they have some bones to chew on. Yeah, yeah. I'll just I'll just throw some more. There we go. Do they look happy? Do they look like content puppers? Wait a minute. What's the what's the squeeze over there? Out if you want to. Does it worry you? I want to see what's in there. Well, you have to get to the puppers. Will the puppers attack me while they're occupied? Uh, they seem to be pretty well ignoring you. All oh, they're they're kind of focused on the food right now. Yeah, I want to try and squeeze that. Okay. I mean, I'm small. I can. I, can I mean, go you investigate you. Over there. You look at you look at this. You want to go investigate the opening? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, you go over and you investigate the opening. Uh, it's a narrow opening, uh, which leads to a natural chimney that climbs about thirty feet. I'm gonna want to sneak while I'm doing this. At the base of the fissure is a bunch of rubble and gravel. Uh, that's been dis and a bunch of trash that's been discarded through the opening above. Okay. Uh, you can ascend the chimney shaft by making an athletics check. Oh, uh, what check? Athletics. athletics. That wouldn't be acrobatics. Okay. Athletics. Because you're hauling oh. your butt up. You right. So, pretty sure I'm gonna fail that. 
give me a uh... let's throw a uh, let's throw a north. Actually, let's see if you succeed first. Give me a flex check. Be careful, by the way. Don't go all the way up. Just don't go any farther oh. down the cave either. If you don't know what's down there. I don't oh, know what's down the bridge. Well, would you look all at right. that? Now give me a stealth check. <laughs> Going up the garbage, you're gonna go to the, Eight. the main. Oh, why we got I eat it sliding down the side of it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! So you going all the way up? No, I wasn't gonna go all the way up. I was gonna go far below. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sure. Uh huh. Sure, sure you weren't. Right. Yeah, you okay. made the decision right after the stealth check. <laughs> yeah, I see how hey, that is. You told uh -huh. me to make the stealth check first. You didn't ask. Well. Uh, Okay, uh, you get a, so you don't go all the way up, because you're a chicken, fuck fuck, and, um, uh, but you do hear, uh, I will, I will give you this, you do hear at the top of the, uh, at the top, near, near the top of the thing, you do hear, uh, some rough talking in a language you don't know, and it's, uh, one of them sounds like a really deep, deep voice, and, uh, sounds like some, higher pitch voices up there as well. So you can assume that at the top of this rise there are some individuals up there. Alright. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and slide right back down then. Alrighty. Then I'm gonna run over yonder and tell them about that that I saw. What did you see? Heard. You, didn't see you didn't see nothing yeah. because you're Well, what I heard. Yeah, what you heard? <laughs> I heard things up there, and then Vivi had told us earlier that there is, uh, yeah, it's ascending up, so we know there's quite a few of them in there, at least, and on the second floor. Alright. So now we know the mystery of how the old man died, and we can all go to the pub. Oh, uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You we just want know. money and booze. Yes, <laughs> we don't mind. Please, well, as a bard, <laughs> you're a we bard. We don't know if he is dead. What was that? We don't know if he. I'm saying this. We don't know if he's dead. Dead. All we know is that there's someone else in there, and that there's someone else in. Can he I give the one. puppers a head scratch? Or does he look yeah. sensitive? You can give the puppers a head scratch. Yes, they are. Okay. Be good puppers. They like goblins now. They like to eat goblins uh, now. So I don't know if you want to stay in that goblin um, like outfit goblins. anymore. <laughs> uh -oh. You smell like snack morsels. You smell like food. <laughs> uh -oh. I mean, we could do something interesting where we let loose one of them down the into the cave floor. And then drag some of the goblins out that way. Oh, well, I. Why is the dog loose? And they'll try to get the dog back. I had a way that I wanted to draw them all out. What was that? I was gonna say we all hide in this room here, and I start wailing on my dag bagpipes, and we jump them when they run down. <laughs> 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 oh, I love it. I love it. But there's a possibility that our our dude might still be alive in there. This wasn't one kidnapped, or we don't know. Oh, we just don't know. Well, yeah, we don't All know right. either. I don't or. know where either of them are. Yeah. Add your perception check to see if there's anything else around. Um, I I guess I'll just go ahead and um, I can scout again deeper in if we if we want. Curtis to, uh, asked for ahead. a perception check. Oh, you asked for a perception? Yeah, go ahead and roll a perception. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Seven. Let's see here. Uh, you, you hear a lot of water sounds and <laughs> uh, a lot of darkness. You're human, right? Yeah. Yes, a lot of darkness. It is a dark cave. Oh. You said this is a trash pile over there, right? Yes. Trash, can rummage, yeah, can I rummage around that for something useful? Just see if there's anything. Give me an investigation. 
right, right. So if I can find it. Yeah, he needs a lot of rocks and some general refuse and some some a few things that you really don't know what you really don't want to know what that is. <laughs> um, but uh, you you just like okay, I'm gonna leave that alone, and you uh, don't find anything useful. Can I take some of the small rocks? Yeah, if you want. Yeah, I want to take a handful of rocks. Okay. You take a handful of rocks. Okay. Do they collect them or something? Uh, they might come in useful. I mean, you never know. There is like, um, there's a spell that uses rocks. What was it? <laughs> Magic stone. It's actually really useful. I'm thinking about if, uh, we come into a uh, passage and we got a splinter solid rock to the other side to make the goblins look away. <laughs> nice. All right. Are you guys cool with me uh, scouting in past the uh, the bridge that's up north? Yeah. He is anything up ahead. I am going to need anybody who doesn't have dark vision. That I told you to claim that! Uh, I'm going <laughs> to need you to give me... You're going to need to uh, do a um, light of torch in order to see past this point. So I'm looking to see... I do have dark vision. Okay. Yes, you should. You're a Ganassi. Yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you guys cool with me scouting up ahead though? I'm getting your torches ready. Anybody got a problem with that? What's your character's name, Nick? Nick Naylor. Oh. Alright. So. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go, uh, uh, kind of hang underneath the bridge at first. Um, I wanna do a quick little check underneath to see if I can hear either or, whatever side of the path up above me. Alrighty, you're selfing through. Um, you do, hang on, let me check here. Let me double check. I just saw this. Uh, go ahead and make me a perception check, please. Oh my god! Perception gosh. is. <laughs> Why are you so bad? Well, let's uh let's check let's check that here real quick. Did I change that? Yes, I did. Yeah, you don't notice anything. Um, uh, nah, nah, you don't notice okay. anything. Okay. No. Then I'll scoot around. Uh, whoops. I didn't mean to go that far, but, um, I'll, I'll scoot around until I can see, like, um, what looks to be going into the cavern, then. I don't want to go deep enough if I can. Um, uh, what, do, what do I see at that point? Or what can I sense? Well, you do hear some chattering. Sounds like go sounds like Gobby speak, and um, at the top at the top of this uh, cavern. But um, other than that, you don't you don't sense much. I mean, you do does hear it, a does lot it of. Seem like they're they're rushed and they're they're prepping stuff. Like they're nah. being alerted. Nah. No. Okay. So they're just no. chilling. Doing stuff. Yeah, they're just chilling. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and return to the group then. Alrighty. Alrighty, you guys. Uh, found a cavern or a, little, a room where the guys are probably up the the, the chimney are at. Um, I don't know if I can use my intelligence to connect the two of you together, but 
um, the yeah, there's definitely the some travels up to the north. If you just follow up this path along the road. So. We now know the chimney thing that I climbed up leads straight up to their aircraft, right? Um, can I can I put two and two together about that? I mean, Does that maybe seem like the logical. Maybe okay. it leads up somewhere up there. Maybe. Because yeah, this was all an ascent. The yeah. What I was walking up, yeah. Right. Yeah. So. So we know it goes upwards, right? Mm -hmm. So, presuming that that's just a, an enclosed space up there, if we were to make a large fire right here, the smoke would travel upwards and fill that room. Maybe. And and would either kill the goblins or force them to come out. Well, the last thing that we want to do is just like let them know that we're here. If you happen to notice, if you happen to notice anything, then you will see her on there. I mean, we will have to announce ourselves somehow. I uh, yeah. So I would rather have the advantage of them not knowing exactly where we're at yeah. and being able to surprise them. Well, I do have, well, I do have a tinder box and some torches. Do you have a tinder box and some torches with you? Um, are the brambles outside? Are they, like, really dried up and stuff? Or can we, like... Uh, not really. I mean, you got the, you got the, the river running against it, so... Hmm. Can we it's find some, some dry tinder in the area? That's like away from the river? Yeah, if you want. Survival but, checks. But also, what are we going to do about the puppers? Let them burn. <laughs> That's mean. That's really mean. Scritches. Okay, break the chain then and let them loose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, they attacked us. We Gave them food. Uh -huh. I'll, 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 each, I'll give them each a scritch in the head and kind of let them acknowledge our presence. And uh, if they all seem like exactly where our boat goes. Um, <laughs> sorry, that sounded really weird. <laughs> are, are the chains like um, uh, locked to the place or are they just, you can untie it? Uh, the chains, they are. Uh, they are wrapped around their neck, I think. Let's see. No, it's not. I'm trying to see if there's anything specific here. It talks about it. It talks about the chains a little bit. Um, I mean, I can't imagine the yeah, bites too big. Could we just key all that? Well, the it's driven into the stalagmite with like an iron rod. Just chained. It just says they're chained up. Um, you can probably figure something out uh, with the chains wrapped around the wolf necks. Uh, go ahead and. You want me to do a sleight of hand or something? <sighs> yeah, give me like a sleight of hand. See if you can unwrap the chains properly. Yeah, sure. They they aren't fighting you. Uh, you gave them food, so they're not they're not aggressive towards you. They're kind of they're kind of like just what's the word? Um ambivalent. Yeah. yeah. And um <clears throat> so yeah, they're not fighting you, so it's not really all that difficult to get the chains unwrapped around the wolves wolves' necks. And uh you get them all unwrapped and uh they're just still sort of hanging out eating the eating what's left of the gob gobbo meat. Bodies in here, or do we just give them portions? Because if we have more, I was 
just gonna have it like hang out in the outside of the cave so when they're done with dinner and stuff they can move on over yeah we should yeah. make a trail of food leading out leading out to their bodies and they can just go yeah. after the bodies i'll go get corpse meat <laughs> Like, you guys, you guys, teach these yeah. teach these doggos to eat goblins. You, you guys had absolutely no problem, no no problem feeding the goblins to the wolves. But if you want to want to cook the wolves, no, no, we can't do that. No, I thought I'll cook the wolves. I mean, oh, <laughs> while I'm out here, can I get fire burning stuff? Oh, there's like, tons of brush out there. Wait, what'd you say? Survival check. Not bad. Sixteen. That's not bad. Yeah, you do manage to find enough to make a pretty decent, pretty decent fire. Okay, so I got oh, that and the meat. Yeah, if you want to make a smoky, you gotta make it wet too. So we need a large, a nice large bonfire with some wet branches as well. Well, we got enough to start it, so we can keep running back in and throwing stuff in the fire. I have the meat as well to lead them out. Is everyone else good with this idea, though? Yeah, but yeah, like, I'm before, good before we, we don't know before we start the fire, uh, we are assuming the goblins <laughs> will, you know, run down in, you know, this way. Mm -hmm. Presumably, um, yeah. There's. Let's see. How do I? Do how do we know how big that uh, rim is up, up there? up into a um, a chamber where they're hanging out in. So for sure, they can run down this path. <laughs> okay, so what I want to do very slowly and carefully I go in. I'm gonna I'm, I want to, to set a trap here to try and catch one of them and alive. And kind of question, question the guy. Setting a trap. What kind of trap? I actually have a spell called a snare, which is oh, basically yeah, um, one. yeah, one of those uh, rope traps. You get yeah, trapped in your leg and floating in the air. Yeah, snare. So more or less about here. I'm gonna do this, and this is doing a thing. <laughs> so right about here. Yeah. Can I okay. set uh, like a token or anything to to mark the place? Mm, I may have something. Let me check. How fast is that river running? Uh, it's pretty slow right now. Oh. It's not. I can do. Where's my water coming? That? It's coming from further into the cave. Okay. That is a drop, I guess. Ah, uh, what? I, uh, no, I don't seem to have anything here. I'll just use this. So, how far up did um Pin go into there the cave go. to look? Okay. Mm, was that about 100 oh. at most? Yeah, you're good. There you go. Okay. How do you... <laughs> Is there any in room? Were there any goblins that we saw at all? Or anything at all? Um, there there was light coming from. If you if you look on, oh my gosh, it's purple to me. Look, there we go. There is light coming up from here, so I can. It's safe to assume that there's going to be some kind of movement over here, and then for sure we got something going on over here. Yeah, we heard sound in that area. And and uh, there's a direct path. Like if you go all the way up, that's that's where it leads to. Is up here. And then there's the bridge, of course. So I'm assuming big cavern here, and it connects over. Like the path connect continues on over the bridge. And then there's another zone over here. All right? Who oh. can see? Who can't see? So I, I have can dark see vision. vision. Oh. I can see the bridge at the current point, somewhat. I can see right, the bridge. Can I do a perception check? Mm. No, I'm just trying to get. I'm just trying to get the um. 
I'm just trying to get the dynamic lighting work. Yeah, go ahead and if you want to give me a perception check, go ahead and give me a perception check. I would like I to do um, one as well. Yeah, go ahead. Curtis, you basically don't see much of anything. The dark tank caves don't really, don't really see much, and uh, you can't really hear much over the rushing water. Uh, else that, uh, were you looking for anything specific? I'm looking down uh, the path towards the bridge that way. Well, I mean, you see down the path, you see the river running past, you see the bridge, and uh. You see, just barely, you see the edge of something moving uh, on top of the bridge. You don't see what it is, but there's something up there. Hmm. So, there might be a gun right there. Or an there owlbear. An owlbear. That's true, it could be an owlbear. Yeah. I'm going to... Um, we do my I'm stealth check, it. and it was ta terrible. Okay. Yep, horrible stealth check. What mm -hmm. do you want to do with that horrible stealth check? Well, I was just trying to make sure that whatever is up there on the bridge doesn't notice me. Because you fall flat on your face. <laughs> in the water. <laughs> yeah. I'm in the water. I'm washing off the blood and the poo that Nick rubbed on me. Yeah, yeah. So that is? Do you, you, hmm. you, you trying to, you, are you guys walking up there or are you making fire? What are we doing? What are you doing? Well, we, we is there anything? I, I don't know how well they're able to hear because, like, if you get too close to that bridge, if they get past you, like, there might be scouts on it, but I was stealth to begin with, so they probably couldn't clock me, possibly. I wouldn't risk it. Um, If we want to do the, the fire thing, it's best we start it here, you know, and stay together. Mm. Um, right. So. The snare idea, though, is good, so we're going to have to. Oh, yeah, I'm, a... Wait, yeah, I'm sorry, give me a minute. <laughs> Watch out. What, what are we doing? Uh -oh. I'm going to light a fire. Well. Did you already release the you guys, dogs? You guys, well, the, yeah, they're on. They're on. Um, the, what is ah. that? What? Yeah. They're they're. Everything just now. go black. Yeah. Yeah. So if, if they're bad. uncomfortable about the smoke, they can walk off me. Ah! Oh, wow! Oh, 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 ah! <laughs> well, that just <laughs> well, that just spoiled everything. <laughs> Oh, now I know the map. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, okay. Yay, roll Hang 20. On. I can't I see just, anything. I was just trying to fix the, fix the lighting, but it wasn't being... Well, reveal what you guys have already seen. Guys should probably Why come we... into the uh, chamber with us once we're doing the smoking thing. If the smoke becomes too bad, we can walk outside. But Why did you turn? Should... Why is it? Why is it turn it off? I think... think of like what's that to the upper left right here? What the? Why? <laughs> I don't know what's why it's doing that. I saw a cobalt in the top hat. Your character did not see it. Hold up, guys. Give me a second. It's being, it, it's being, it's being really stupid. Um, I don't know why, but every time I try to turn on the dynamic lighting, it stops working for some reason. Why is it do? Why is it doing that? Okay, now it's working. I don't know why. Okay. Okay. 
All right. All right. Is it working now? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think he so. Didn't, so. He didn't see anything. I think y'all, I saw something on the bridge, but I'm not sure what it was. Y'all should probably come back in the cave. Uh, I think it'd be good to really, like, try to scout further, but I can't really scout mm, to save my life. How How is the, the fire going? Did you start one? No, I didn't know we were starting it yet. Yeah, I'll start a fire. Do I need to survival check that? Mm, yeah. Oh. Give me a survival check. Can I, can I assist Should I load them? the wolves out? Yeah, you can, you can assess them. Give them advantage. Roll again. Who, me? Yeah, yeah. you. Okay, well, you may as well start a fire. It's it, it's it's going. It's not like a blazing inferno, but it's going. It's creating some smoke. Oh, out. I have. Let's see. What oh, do I have? Do I'm a wait. flame ganasi, um, fire ganasi. Hey, uh, uh, I'm here. I'm here. Could I help if I'm a fire ganasi? I mean, do you have any abilities to create fire? I have ability to produce flame. Well, the you have well, you have the produce flame ability. Yeah, a fire ganasi. Well, well, sh 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 you sh you should be starting the fires. Well, I'm just now thinking about it. <laughs> well, I, I have a I have a tinderbox, like a a regular, you know, thing to make fire. Some more, uh, get some more kindle. So do yeah, I need ahead. to wait more for them to get more kindle or what? No, no, just go ahead and start. Firing up okay. what they have going there. Do I have to roll for more wood? <laughs> nah, you'll just find more wood. Okay. We'll say, working together, you guys managed to um, produce a nice little roaring smoky fire. Which in turn goes up the chimney. And you hear someone roar in Goblinoid, which none of you understand. Mm -hmm. Oh my, well, if they do. I'm well, gonna well. hide in this corner. And, um, hmm, hang on, I gotta look up the snare, snare spell real quick, give me a shot. I'm just gonna stand right here for a little bit, so if anything How are the does puppers behaving now with all this fire? Uh, I thought you let the puppers go. They're yeah, still in here. Off, the uh, tokens are in here. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're yeah. probably they're probably gonna they're they're gonna end up they're gonna end up wandering. Sorry. Okay. We did okay. make a trail of meat out. We did make yeah, a trail of meat. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, just, they're just they're yeah, just in the thickets. They're snacking on the they're snacking okay. on the. Yay! We taught them to eat goblins. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> you, you people are monsters. <laughs> Uh, they chained them up. Eh. Okay. 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 I just need to see. I just need to check something real quick. Um. So you hear. Uh, you hear uh, someone yelling in. Uh, goblinoid, and then, um, someone roll me a perception check. Anyone roll me a perception check? All right. Let me see. Perception. Well, I mean, all pin, right. Pin one. <laughs> uh, okay, so everybody who rolled uh, over a ten hears footsteps <laughs> coming down the, uh, coming down the, uh, the, uh, the path, and as soon as it hits. That area with the snare, you hear a Rah! and then a bunch of a bunch of goblinoid yelling and 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 screaming, and then then you hear um <laughs> then you hear a kathunk. Hmm. What direction? Like a very loud thunk from further in the uh, from further into the cave. 
like from the, from up where the chimney is at, or up to the uh... up up through here, up through here, from further into the cave. Okay, okay, okay. You hear a very loud thunk, thunk, and suddenly you hear a mighty roar <laughs> as a huge surge of rushing water pours down from above. Um. Whoop. But you guys are just fine because you're in a side pass. <laughs> the the goblin oh wow, the goblin isn't though. Um <laughs> this goblin you watch as this goblin gets just swept away in the flood here because it's restrained and can't do anything. <laughs> well lost our goblin. <laughs> One last goblin. Is the goblin, is the goblin dead, or is he still alive? Oh, it's just gone. It's down river. I don't know if it's dead or not, but it's gone. Down river. <laughs> Out so the wolves. Well, maybe the wolves will find it. Hey, Curtis, you have a shield, right? I have my shield I, and my I think so, yeah. armor. If that water's rushing fast, stand there, and we can all be behind you and push them into it when they come down. Oh, uh, well, the rushing water is shot at this point. Oh, never mm -hmm. mind. I'll go back to hiding. It seems to. It seemed to have been. It with, seemed to have been some sort of on, trap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the fire that's going on, can I just take a big hunk of poo poo and put it on the fire and make it as safe <laughs> as possible? I mean, yeah. <laughs> So once that water rushes out, is there still a river? Hello. Hello. Like how far? Oh my gosh, I don't know which way. Okay, so, I would. so how how far would we have to rush in before we're out of out of the the rush of the stream? Well, it's the 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 rush of the stream has died died down at this point. Um, from what it looks like, from what you can tell, is that it looks like it was just like a a one time thing. They can't like they can't like do that with any regularity. Oh. It's like like it's like break the dam, let it flood, and then we'll go out and check later. Yeah. So they can't play that trap on us. It doesn't seem like it, no. Okay. So you guys, shall we? Uh... Well, let's move. I on. missed half the conversation because my internet went out again. Uh, I thought one the was a drum in here. Yeah, I don't know if they're yeah, going to like, They're not going to unplay. We would have heard, you know, like, it seems like their first plan was to literally just send them like, the water out. I mean, sooner or later, the smoke's going to choke them out. You think that? It's bad, 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 bad to you move in. Might have other vents, though. Ah, fair enough. So, let, okay, so let's, let's move on. Let's move you guys up a little bit. Charging? I'm okay with like just moving up a little bit slowly but carefully. Yes. Are you going to give me a stealth check or are you just moving up? Just moving up. Hmm. Okay, okay. Okay, just to make sure to leave the the snare of the goblin alive if he is still alive. When you get to that point there, Curtis. You yes. hear a voice in goblinoid. Blah, blah, blah. You don't speak goblinoid. 
Oh boy. Does it look like it was? Does it sound like they were like directed at him? It sounds like someone's. Yeah, it sounds like someone's yelling at him in Goblinoid. Can I can I just be like, brothers, your adopted uh, <laughs> your adopted foreigner. <laughs> it's just, I I got the intruder. In common? I mean, I don't have goblins. I do a bit. Can I do a bit of insight to see what? Mm, at least not mm, not what it's saying, but at least what it's planning. Yeah, you can roll me an insight check. Uh, Pin, go ahead and roll me a deception check with advantage. Oh, they're doing that. I'm, How I'm high off the ground? <laughs> oh, uh, I have a plan. Well, I mean, that's a that's a fifteen. Fifteen's pretty good, and goblins are pretty stupid. Say that. Play along, Curtis. <laughs> Curtis, you said you wanted an insight check. Um, you can't really tell what it's saying. It just—it's just yelling at you. You don't—you don't understand the context. It's just kind of yelling at you. Uh, but the goblin—he okay. does. The goblin does uh, respond in common. Uh, he says, "He says, what intruder? I got him. Did he? I got did, him. Did, did, did you get him? I got him. Got him. All right. Mm -hmm. they're, like, they're, they're gone. Rushing river. Aren't you the intruder? He doesn't know it. <laughs> okay. Like rushing, like rushing river. He's, but, he's kind of big uh, and bulky. But, Guys need to come down here and help me out with him. What? All right. Hey, you three, back there. Go down there. Get the intruder. Take him to Clark. Uh, I'll go ahead and put the goblin on the. How the high corner. up is that bridge? Oh, it actually says that. Um... Shall we? Shall we scoot back down, you guys? Yeah, move down a little bit. Let's. let's... Yeah, act like you're, like, I'm trying to, like, drag you kind of thing, you know? Bridge spans passage 20 feet above the stream. Oh, right here? Uh, right here, or how far back? Just follow me, what? kind of thing. Alright. Hey, 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 where are you going? Calm down, calm down, as I fake punch you. Chill out. <laughs> come on, come on. Hey, guys, get to him. Oh, they seem oh. to be having trouble. Alright, and you hear... Pattering footsteps coming down the, uh, coming down the, uh, aha, uh -huh, I gotta be on the right layer. Okay. You hear pattering footsteps coming down the, uh, as three goblins r running down the, uh, running down the path. Alright, guys. Coming to help. I'm distracted. Coming to help you out. And this goblin right in front goes to grab, goes to grab you, Curtis. You, you need to attack now. All right. And can I just punch one? Or can I slash one of them? Uh, now, are you guys, are the rest of you guys hidden? Nope. Are you hiding? Oh, so they come around this corner. They see a group of adventurers just standing there. They don't run up to Curtis. They're like, "Oh shit!" And they start. They start. They're rolling initiative. I was uh, around the corner, but I moved up. I was thinking that you guys were be hiding while Kevin was over going. here, and then Phoebe said, "Come out, so I'm like, Kai." Yeah, I was <laughs> here. That was kind of a, a last-minute plan, so. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna You're roll. Out. Let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna roll some initiative here. Uh, what well, what happened uh, with my with my drop actually? It was used. It was used. Yeah, they used it. They used you used it, and the goblins started yelling, and then they used the flood, which basically means that they can't use the flood on you now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you had started a battle in that in that in that corridor, they would have used the flood, and then that would have been a whole other thing. Uh, okay, I did 
the same thing with the initiative. You click on your token and then roll initiative. Yeah. <laughs> So your niche is actually 10, is that? Yeah, I can change it for you, it's fine. Uh, sending. And Curtis Snow Arrow, you are first in the initiative order. Shield lob. Uh, and then Yamasword yeah, my, yeah, my run, uh, rushes to this one right here. And I'll keep the slash. Uh, keep the slash. Alrighty, 19 hits. Hits. And which one do I use? 1d8 or 1d10? Uh, do you have your shield out? Uh, yes, I have my shield out. Then it's a 1d8. Yep. Holy crap. Max damage, nice. Yeah, he did. Eviscerated. <laughs> he down. Uh... All right. So I'm gonna have to make these boys a little chunkier. Is that your? <laughs> is that? Just get more. They can reproduce pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, all right. That's uh, that's that. Is that your turn, Curtis? Um. I want to think about using one of my spells on. You can only do bonus. Only if you have a bonus action spell, because you already used your action. Well, let's see. Do I have any bonus? The only thing I have is like two weapon fighting. You can't, because you've already done your. All right. Yeah, and two weapon fighting is um, if you have a weapon in your offhand and you have. You have shield. You have a shield, so. Is two weapon fighting considered a trait? No. If it's on your sheet, you have it. You just have to have it equipped, right? Anyone can do two weapon fighting. It's basically just using a weapon attack as your bonus action. And oh. um But yeah, you need to have a weapon in each hand. Okay. And I don't think your proficiency proficiency bonus is added to your arsenal attack. So is that so, your turn, Curtis? Yes, that'd be my turn now. I'm just like getting ready to like defend myself. Alrighty, Pin, you're up. Crossbow to the guy <laughs> that's um. Let uh, me guess, pack tactics, right there. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Freaking cobalt robes. Uh, yeah, yeah, that. Well, you get advan you get advantage. I, yes, I get it. I get it's it's, it's pack tactics. Okay. That's right. Lovely. Okay, go ahead and roll damage. And uh, it didn't automatically roll the. Wait, what's yeah? What's up with that? It didn't roll the crossbow. That's weird. And also, was that okay? Uh, oh, just 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 crit? just click it. Just. Just roll me another D eight and another D six. Wait, so how do I do? Should I just roll it in um the roll set? You can roll it. In, I think you can roll either in roll twenty or D and D beyond. I think it should work for either. Oh wait, wait. How do? What's the command though? The command. I just don't know. Or do, do you want me just to roll it again though, or is it not adding it in? It's not. It's not adding it in. So just go ahead and. Just go ahead and roll it. And, uh, there, uh, <clears throat> in roll 20, there's that little uh, d20 symbol over the left there. You see it? Uh, over the left. The, the B? Are you in D&D &D Beyond or roll 20? Um, I'm in roll 20, but there's a... I don't know if that's an add-on thing. Or no, it's not. Add? It's pretty okay. standard. It's down on that little that little that little symbol panel where you get the select and the draw and the uh, 
and the and the measuring tools and shit like that. The little oh, there's D twenty down at the bottom. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So you said D six and a A D eight, yes. I don't know why we're doing this, it's dead anyway. But yeah. Oh. You, <laughs> you do uh what was that? Six, eight, nineteen damage to this goblin and Oof. yeah. Anyway, DMs hate rogues. So no. that's why <laughs> Don't and you that's play a rogue? <laughs> I play a rogue, yes I do. In my in my in my DM hates me. Um <laughs> Uh okay, so yeah, that's uh that's another dead goblin. Alrighty. You guys are committing goblin side here. Uh, for bonus action, and... goblin side. side we're teaching yeah, wolves yeah, how to sure. we're teaching wolves to crave goblins. <laughs> yes. Crave goblin flesh. <laughs> Lovely. Alrighty. Is that your turn, Pen? Yeah. Next is a dead goblin. <laughs> and next is a live goblin. Look at that. Look at that. This goblin's going to go right here. And he's going to whip out his short bow. And he's going to aim it at Curtis Snow Arrow. And he's going to fire. There's a 13 hit. I'm guessing probably guessing not. Guessing not. Wendlow? Yes. What's 13. my armor class? Uh, my, yeah, armor class is eight, uh, my armor class is 18. So no. Alrighty, then that doesn't hit. Alrighty. Like that. Try to incapacitate this goblin. Hails that. You're next. Make it. I'm next? Okay. Yep. So I'm, I have enough range to move up to them. But that's going to put me in the line of, let's see, do I have any ranged attacks? I have, let's see, I can throw produce flame. Can you throw produce flame? Um, I can attack it. I can cast a spell, let's see, range up to throw 30 feet. Throw the flame feet. within 30 yeah. feet, nice. Um, nice. Oh, and the duration of the flame is 10 minutes if I keep holding it, I think. So I'm going to move behind Curtis. <laughs> Use him as cover. Can I do that? Yeah. I'll give you... Hey, if you're specifically hiding behind Curtis, I'll give you... Uh, I'll give half, you half cover. cover. Um, I'm going to throw produce flame at the one on the bridge. Okay. Give me an attack roll. I'm trying. Hold on. I think that doesn't hit. No, that doesn't hit. And I gotta well, figure out why your thing is so weird. Yeah, it's being it's weird. Running. It keeps it keeps telling me to drag to roll dice on the screen when I click it in there. That's weird. This gotta be something on T D Beyond. Are you clicking on the B or are you just clicking on the attack? I'm clicking on the little B that comes up when I hover over whatever attack. All right. Try just clicking on the attack next time. See if that works. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what, so that's, what, what that's. But yeah, that doesn't. Let's see. How much did I already move? Where was I? You were right here, I think. Where? I think you were right here. So you got. You probably got about 15 more feet of movement. So I could move up and punch that one if I wanted, right? Or can I do a bonus action unarmed after a spill? 
I'm not sure. Uh, with a monk, you need to take an attack action. You can spend one. Is that not point. an attack action? Because it. Well, key point is for flurry of blows. Flurry of blows. Unarmed strike is bonus action when you use when the, you attack, use the action, attack action. You can yeah, use, no, you use bonus the spell. You use the but, spell. So no. that's the one thing that I don't understand is that it's listed under attack. Produce flame. If it's an attack, it's listed under attack. Yeah, well, it says in the spell description use a range spell attack. So it's technically a spell, which means you can't use a bonus okay. action on then I, strike. I'm done. Okay. Alrighty, next is another another. Uh, this one's actually a live goblin, um, so I actually get to do something. Yay! Ooh. Does twenty three hit Curtis Snow Arrow? Twenty three. Well, my armor class is eighteen, so I guess it'll hit. So I'm guessing probably. Yeah, yeah. You take five slashing damage. Dang. <laughs> All right, next is Ron. <laughs> okay, gonna step in here. Step in here, actually. And shoot the, this guy. All right. Uh -huh. Bam. That is a, a hit, I, it. I presume. Yep. Five damage. Five damage. All right, this goblin looks pretty well bloodied. I mean, he does have his crossbow bolt sticking out of his shoulder, so <laughs> yeah, he looks he looks pretty pretty bloody. All right. And if I can step over this gobo as a bonus action or whatever, I do that. Alrighty, which where are you? Right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you should have enough movement to do it. It would be considered difficult terrain, so. So is the water yeah, gone you're, you're... or is it still? There. The water is still there, but it's not like rushing like it did before. Mm -hmm. uh, Nick, you were next. Right. Yeah, Is that that bridge is like here. 30 feet up? Yes, it's 30 feet above. <laughs> no, 20 feet above the, above the, uh, the stream, so. And I can move 30, right? Yes. So, if I were to use my full 30 to move yonder, yep, up to this point, would it also yep. be movement to parkour up that wall to the bridge? Yep. So I would need more movement on top of that. So that's so that 30 there. feet? Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah, because... From where I'm at to this spot is exactly 30. Yeah. So yeah, it would house extra movement. And you would probably get an opportunity to attack by this goblin right here. Uh, yeah, if he moves back. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna... I guess I'm gonna eat over to here. Alrighty. And then I'm going to attack that goblin. Um, I have two weapons on. So I'm going to do both the weapons. And then I get to add that uh, Jack of All Trades to that, right? Because you can't use the proficiency. Jack of All, tra Jack of All Trades is just for um, just for skills. Doesn't factor in okay. weapon attacks. Yeah. All right. So what would I be rolling for attacking that then? Uh... But the sword and using, dagger. Okay, use the roll the sword sword first. That doesn't hit. Okay, now roll the dagger. Mm. That does hit. Uh go ahead and roll damage. If I can find where to click. I try to keep oh. them a, oh, how many gamas are left? Oh, how many gamas are left? Uh two. two. Uh that would actually be just four damage since you don't get the proficiency from the alchemy. Um, huh. So yeah. Ooh. He's not dead, but he don't look good. 
he look he look he look he look he look like a like a short gust a small gust of wind would probably kill him. And oh, okay. uh, is that your turn? Yep. That's all I got. Alright. Alrighty. Next oh. is a dead goblin. And finally, we're back to the top of the initiative, Curtis Snow Arrow. Now, Curtis is going to basically tell the goblin. Now, I'm going to give you one chance. Give you one chance. <sighs> Answer these questions. I'll let you go. Uh, I will let you go. Do you understand goblinoid? Uh, no, my favorite one of them <laughs> uh, can speak common. Can yeah, one of them speak common? common? Yeah, they can speak common. Try to basically use a bit of intimidation. And what'd you say to him again? Intimidation check. Well, intimidation to try to get them to stand down. All right. Yeah. Go ahead and give me an intimidation check. Ooh. Oh. Uh. All righty. Well, the goblin at the bottom of the stairs is like, oh, please don't hurt me anymore. I don't want to die. But the one up top, he's not intimidated. So By the, the way, one I, that's gave, on top. I gave the one I gave the one down near where you are right now a uh, disadvantage because he's almost dead and he doesn't want to die. Mm -hmm. I'll tell him you don't want to die, Jay. Well, if you don't want to die, then give us some inform. Uh, then give us some information about this. Uh, give us some information. And if you do, we'll let you uh, go. But you need to leave your weapon, uh, your weapons behind. All right. Well, he drops his weapon, and he doesn't. He he's not. He's not attacking anymore. He's done. Now what? Now where's the? Uh, now where's so the other? How one? much conversation can happen in one action? The other six yeah. Yeah. This is this. This is. This is yeah. You you've done. You've intimidated the goblin. He's dropped his weapon. Um, now can I attack? Uh, like can I attack the other goblin? Well, you already, you already used did your, your action. Yeah, you use yep. your action to do the intimidation check. Up, oh, what that stuff? Oh, I will. Hey, you 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 got the goblin out of the out of the fight, so you know. Hey, it worked. Do you have a bonus action you want to do? Alright, so I guess that ends my turn. Alrighty. Pin, you're next. Hey, no, no. Um, alrighty, so I'm just gonna go ahead and swoop back out. Um, being all lovely, there's a, there, wait, are we trying to not kill this one, dude? So. The one next to Curtis is, has put down its weapon. I'm not sure you know that, actually. Oh. <laughs> Would she it have does, been in does, hearing it, range? It, it, it does. He's it, it sitting up against the wall. It does not have its weapon in its hand, so it doesn't look like it's you know fighting anymore. You do notice that. Mm. Would she have hate, still been I in really hearing range? Oh. <laughs> uh, Kowals always do. But, <laughs> but, but, but considering there's like. On this guy, um, I'm not gonna be too flustered. I wish I could use my pack tactics and annihilate him, but um, I guess I'm I'm, I'm above that. Right, uh, deal with the one that ha deal with the one that actually has a weapon. <laughs> yeah, I'll just cross pull this cross cross pull. <laughs> no crossbow him. Um, you sixteen hits. Ignore the sneak attack. That's what happened. Crap. Took out <laughs> one. High. That is high. Yeah. Friggin' robes, man. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dead goblin. Just, All right. Just put me in the sun and then I'll have hard time. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. All the goblins are dead. I hope you're happy, you monsters. No, they're not all dead. <laughs> Well, it's there's all, one. Most of them. There's one still alive. I'll tell them. Now then. So, what are we out to... of combat? For now, yes. So, I'm going to ask you one last question. I'm going to ask you a few questions. 
Okay, you get first question. How many uh, how many dramas are currently in this cave at the moment? Uh, 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 Can goblins he's count? Pretty, he's pretty screwed up, but he starts counting on his fingers. All two of them. And once he gets done with his fingers, he's like, uh, and then he starts taking off his shoes. <laughs> So you can assume that there might be more than ten. All right. Next question. <laughs> we heard a we heard a mighty roar in this cave. We heard a mighty roar in this cave. Who was that? That's Clark. Clark boss, big guy. Hurt much. All right. Now. There are, did you guys have to bring two people to this location? Because we know uh, we uh, we saw a trail of two bodies that uh, were brought over here. So we want to know uh, if you still have them or they're alive. Um, Boss Clark, deal with deal with other other people wanting. Short dwarf and and other guy. So where is this other guy? So are they in this cave right now? Boss Clark talked to people who want short dwarf. They take short dwarf. Other guy somewhere. I don't know. Lots of blood. All right, and next question. The next question I have: Is there anything on Clark that my uh, that my uh, that we could use against? Boss Clark, big, strong. He crushed Gabo. So, uh, so that means that. His, so that means that his. So that more likely just means that his men are afraid of him. So you guys are right. a union? What? <laughs> and I, I don't think you know what that means. Well then, you know uh, what that means? A goblin union? Is there a goblin but, union or a or a um a minion union? But goblin. Uh, what's your uh, like? What's your name? I hate you right now. <laughs> uh, Mert. Thank you for giving us the information. If you uh, like, if you leave the cave now, we can assure you that you won't uh, that you won't die. Uh, you won't die at our hands. Not by our hands. I'm regretting lawful neutral. Uh, all right. Thank you. For leaving me alive, and he starts to Can walk I out. Can I ask one question? Where is Clark? What? Upstairs. I wear upstairs. And uh, as he's walking out, um, you hear uh, vicious barking <laughs> and the goblin scream. Because we trained him to eat the goblins. <laughs> Get right you, we you didn't kill him. <laughs> you hear vicious barking and a goblin scream, and and then the scream is suddenly cut off, and yeah. I just have courage to fall on the ground. Like, we kept our promise. I think I think I think that kind of still is. Huh. I mean, it's not directly by your hands, but you know. Yeah. We can't control get... the wolves. I wasn't trying to get killed. <laughs> I mean, we did let him go. <laughs> <laughs> he was allowed to leave. <laughs> he picked the wrong. That he was. <laughs> that he was. I don't know how uh, I get rid of these uh, marksmen brains. I'm just playing around too, and I don't. I don't really... You can tap it and delete. Like yeah, you can click on it. You can... 
hit backspace and delete. Yeah. Um, that, oh, no, the next thing is like, is the guy one that's more, that was on the bridge still up there? He's well, dead. dead. Yeah, he oh, did. Okay. Which, right. while I'm here, can I parkour up to that bridge? Um, yeah, there is actually a, there is actually a DC you can make in order to do it. Um, I can find it. Yes. Okay. Um, DC 15 strength. No, wait, hang on. Hold up. I'm trying um, to. Can I okay, yeah. DC. DC 15 athletics check. Well, let, me, let me see. Wait, what? Athletics skill check. A 15 athletics check. Let me, no, let me see if mine will work. I just do an athletics check. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Right. If I can find it in my list. No. Okay, so. How about. Here's an idea. No. <laughs> nope. If you're trying to get up there, um, can I just stand on one of your guys' shoulders and like jump up there with an acrobatics? That's what I figured it was going to use. 20 feet. It's 20 feet up. So unless there's up. someone. Unless there's yeah. someone who's like 15 feet tall, I don't think that's going to work. Can one of you guys work. throw me? I've got, well, a, I, I I've got a... Oh, I am big enough. I was thinking uh, Curtis could launch us off his shield, but... Vivi, what's your... Uh, so what's pin? your... Why yeah. are you wanting to get up on the bridge? Yeah, to the look question. and see what's up to there. Look. Okay. It's going to be pretty isolated the second you get up there, though. Well, you can always fall off. Okay, so there's water. Uh, what's your acrobatics? Um, plus six. Okay, yeah, you would do way Mine's better. Mine's plus four. <laughs> yeah, I'm plus four. And plus I'm see. tiny, so it's pretty easy to find me. So get on top of my shield, and I'll try to I'm gonna launch you up there. Alright, I gotta figure out how I'm, gonna, how I'm gonna end up doing this. Um, that would be an assist, right? Okay, first things first is I want to. I want an athletics check from. I want an athletics check from. Curtis. All right. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Uh, pin. Give me an acrobatics check. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. Um. So basically, how this works is that uh, Curtis goes and try to launch Pin off of the uh, off of his shield, and uh, it doesn't get quite quite the amount of power out of the out of the launches he wanted, but with Pin's deft, I don't know. Cobalt nimble jumping ability. She actually manages to get a claw onto the, onto the, uh, onto the, uh, onto the bridge, uh, and manages to hoist herself onto it. Uh, I and, wanna, um, I wanna do something, and this doesn't need that like a, like a throw or anything. I cast uh, Mage Hand just to give. Uh, people a little push up so the yeah. What can Mage Hand do? Push uh, her up hand, the bridge a little bit. Yeah, it cannot fully carry uh, Pip's weight, but it can give give her a little push. I give her a little push. I'll, I'll allow it. That's fine. Give her a little push. Kind of, just, to, just to help her out onto the bridge. That's fine. Alright, so... Oh, did we get experience for that last fight? Uh, we'll calculate experience at the end of the, uh, at the end of the... Oh, thank you. Well, can I use one of my spells to be able to, like, temporarily light my, tor uh, light my torch? Or at least create light. So will that give have... everyone with dark vision disadvantage? No. Okay. I do have a, because I do have a spell called light. Do you have a spell called light? Yes. Well, I don't I mean, just go ahead and use light. All right. So basically, you just basically just make something glow. 
You, you know, have so to have I something play, to glow. Yeah. yeah, and that's when I have one of my torch. So oh. you're just making your torch glow. You, you can make oh. your sword glow. Okay, what about your shield or something? Be cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, make my sword glow. <laughs> there you go. Sorry. So you don't have to have a third hand You'd have to put down your shield to hold your torch. Yeah. Yeah, my glowing sword. Um. You're a Jedi. No, 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 no. Uh, you're wrong. Uh, you're wrong, Game Master. I am the warrior of light. Mm. Nah, you're a Sith Lord now. Anyway, um... Hey! Uh... What would you say, Finn? Uh, so, uh, there's obviously supposed to be corridors. I can't see them on my screen, though. Uh, yeah, for some reason they have them blocked off, probably. Oh, okay. Which way do you want to see? Um, uh, I just wanted to... North or South uh, Passage? Uh, I just want to peek in both. Yeah, you can peek in both. Go ahead and peek in both. That's just how they have it set oh, up, and I don't really okay, want to mess okay. with. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to mess with the settings too much because it's just being it's being um, weird. What, I, I should have a rope. I'll, I'll call you. Is there is there something I can use to like fashion a rope against the anchor to help these other guys up? Yeah, you can. I'm assuming you can. We usually it's like an adventurous sort of. Uh... If you toss a rope over, toss a rope over, um, it will reduce. I'll reduce the DC by five, and if you put knots in the rope, I'll reduce the DC by seven. Oh, that's neat. I'll do that too. So yeah, now you guys can climb up, and it's now a DC five. Uh, athletics check, and if you guys fail that, then I don't know what to tell you. Well, I mean, where does uh, this path that? So I need a uh, so I need a <laughs> path. Any <laughs> path <laughs> where does that path I... lead? Um, there's there's two corridors to the the left and the right. Um, the path the path down here leads. I'm talking up. about the it's one like... that we're on right now. Yeah. Uh, it does lead up. It, yeah, that one goes to a chamber. I'm I'm assuming. Go up here, it'll be an alternate route, and they won't be expecting us from the top. It's better to go back up here if we have an easy access. Well, I'm not getting up the bridge, so I can maybe do some d distractions from I, down here. I reduced the DC, I brought up a drop. I still failed. He still failed. He rolled a three. You rolled a well, three. DC was well, five. Well, since I lit up my sword, oh, I can't do it. okay, I see. Well, we can play <laughs> them now, it's fine. So, who's all coming up here then? Uh, yeah. Curtis made it up. Uh, so that um, Ron he's not alone, up. I will stay down with him then. I'm going to roll a stealth check and just kind of creep over this way. Okay, I'll roll a stealth check as well. I see on the bridge. I can't see anything. Hopefully these things happen. Well, he rolled an yeah, eight. I can't see anything? anything either. Yeah. Oh, well, guess, oh yeah, it finally worked. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Stop, 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 stop. Give me a I second. just wanted to have space for that. Uh, okay, so you are using the light spell, right? Curtis is. Curtis. Yes. No arrow. When hello. You're using the what? light spell, right? Yes. Okay. Bright and dim, 20 and 20. Uh, when... Setting. Yay. Alrighty. Okay, so Curtis, you are currently the uh you are currently the light that Ron is seeing by. So <laughs> Ron, if you want to uh if you want to see in the darkness, you're gonna have to uh light a torch uh if Curtis moves too far away from you. Okay. What's the range of light? Twenty and twenty. Yeah, twenty bright light, twenty dim light. So you have to right. stay within uh, that range. So Is it radius or diameter? Uh, radius. I oh. think. Yeah, it's radius. Uh, I'm going to take a break. I have to use the bathroom. Get something to drink. I'll be right back. Okay, okay I'm going to go. Take a break. Yeah, I'm going to go to the bathroom too. <laughs>
I'm gonna get back.
Welcome back. Welcome back. Hello. All right. I think we're just waiting on Chris. Yeah, sorry, I had to let dogs out too. Oh, okay. All right. So, what are we doing? Uh, who's up on the second floor, or who's on the bridge, oh. or who's like? Um, me and uh, Nick are down on the path. On the I rock path. Move, I can move down a little to see if I can find a way for um, to help you guys see a little bit. Well, I think we both have dark vision, don't we? Yeah, is you is you oh, is Nick back? I don't know if Nick's back. I have dark vision. Oh, I was just going to see if we can organize to just storm the room from both sides. I want to see what's up here to like the upper left. So nobody has any like sending spells or anything or like communication nope. stuff. Kinda. We okay, probably, I have uh, plan this out while we're on top of the bridge, so we can. Yeah, I'm gonna remove that so you guys can see through there. There we go. And there we go. Okay, I don't know if Nick's back yet. Nick is eight, right? Yeah. Uh, well, when, until he gets back, I have a galaxy to conquer. <laughs> Are you double gaming on us right now? Well, we're <laughs> on break and we're waiting for Nick. <laughs> but no, I I pause the game when we're when we're playing D and D. Yay! Curators. So what were you trying to cast a spell for, Curtis? Well, I say it. Uh, and I'll just see how, like, well, spell casting works. Oh, okay. I should have thought about getting mending. Uh, mending for one of my spells. So I think I we'll why. learn as we do fights, as we do these things that we're doing, what's going to like maybe come in handy. Well, but at least I do have like a couple of spells. I can use, well, if I had to really be up close to an enemy to really hit them with like divine light. All of my flames, I have to turn the, uh, my flames. I at least try to make sure that if I can hit the enemy, they you can do a good saving throw. Aiden, you back? Aiden, you live? I think he died. So, how are y'all liking the game so far? I'm liking a lot. Danny. The only thing I hate is getting ill a lot. Getting hit? Oh, that's kind of that's kind of what we do. <laughs> well, it's kind of part of the game, yeah. <laughs> How's everyone's health right now? Oh, um, 
my head's at, uh, my health is at 16, so I could use lay on hands, but I'm just saving it for when I really need it. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, I think everybody's everybody's doing pretty good so far. Hey, Chris, I have a question. Yeah. You remember that fire we built? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would this chamber we're coming up into be filled with smoke then? Well, how about you get up into the chamber first, and we'll see. Well, I just <laughs> want to know if that would affect our sneaking ability. We don't know how big the chamber is. Yeah. My crystal. You're, not sh you're not sure. You're not sure. You're not sure. But, um, it I... It, it, doesn't, it doesn't seem to be any smokier than usual down where you are. So we did a stealth check. Um, Nick got an 8. I got a 21. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I failed. <laughs> yep. Mm, uh, yep. 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 <laughs> you probably did. And uh, anybody else stealthing? Yes. Well, well, I'm just kind of like up the hill right now. Like Ron, I thought you were on the bridge as well. You hear stealth? You feel so stealth? Can he stealth? Yeah. Well, uh, well, yeah, I guess he's still disadvantaged anyway because of his armor, but he's glowing right now. Yeah, way. you're that's you're what? definitely you're definitely disadvantaged. Yes. You know, same way. I'm gonna eventually turn my light off. I mean, well, it I, only lasts a certain amount of time, right? Until you just disable it. It said it said it has. I have to cover it not to like turn it off. It's like in it's like so an hour, said, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's duration an hour. Light can be colors you like, completely covering the object with something opaque blocks the light. Spell ends if you cast again or dismiss it as an action. But remember, if you cut out that light, you're not going to be able to see in either of them. And I'm saying that I'm going to wait a little bit before I do that. Unless they okay. have torches or something in there. I don't know. But we don't know that. So. Well, I guess uh, you can sure. just see if it's your torch, right? Yeah. yeah that you would can, do yeah, it. You yeah, you can. Sheathing your sword would do it, yeah. Wait, so how dark is it? Because I can see in the dark, anyways. Yeah. It's yeah, so dark. we both have dark vision, so we're fine. It's Does those, it's spell? those, it's those boring humans up there that need the light. <laughs> well, for right now, you guys just come to where we are, and where we are on the bridge. Ron, are, are you on the bridge as well? I'm not. We're not on the bridge. We're down below. I can't climb ropes and I can't sneak. <laughs> <laughs> well, what class are He's you? He's a fancy at? boy. He's a bard, fancy boy. <laughs> Uh, Curtis, <laughs> you gonna yeah. you gonna you gonna do uh, stealth roll? Well, well, let's see if it, let's see if it can. Now it is with disadvantage, so. Oh. oh. Wow, that that's a uh, wow. Wow. That's a double oh, bad. Okay. <laughs> then no one hears. Clang clang okay. clang. Glow. Goes the trolley. <laughs> yeah. well, There's a train coming down that bridge. <laughs> so I was gonna say the goblins are. Is that a train? <laughs> Maybe uh, a locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Can we use deception? Uh, so yeah, there's. What uh, are you gonna try to deceive? Well, yes, I am a train. <laughs> there's a. Uh, so, uh, hmm, let's see here. Uh, you might make yeah. a move. <laughs> Is that anybody want to make a move or, or what? What's going on here? Well, what are we doing? I all? guess I'm. I guess I'll move up a little. Uh, a little bit. I'll take a step forward. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, that's all good. You take a step. And forward. I can step forward further than you since I'm stealthed. You do that. Do that. Okay. Wait, are you going the other direction? We're going well, up the path because um, Hayden can't or Nick can't climb up the rope, mm -hmm. so I'm not leaving him alone. Well, I'm just trying to figure out like, oh, are you? I can run really fast. Off the rope. I thought there were like, three people up here on the bridge. Yeah, like where did Ron. Curtis go? Well, I'm, uh, Curtis, I'm right here. Like I'm still on the bridge. 
Oh, oh okay. you're you're standing in in the same spot as Ron is. That's... Oh, yeah. I was like, what? Yeah. One person disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, I see. You. Wait, so we're pretty far apart, so I can't communicate with them. So. Nope. But I know what I see, and I can tell Nick that I see one goblin in my line of sight. I can see it, too. I actually see Oh, you can't. Oh, you see three. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to well, look hang behind hang me and like signal to my two buddies behind me, uh, like two, because I see two. I see this I'm gonna one. Be, I'm going to be quiet. I'm just putting up fingers. God, these goblins suck. All right. Um, <laughs> I see four of them. That's why there's so many. Oh. Actually, They're fodder. There's uh, there's like a stalagmite in the way, but I can so, kind of see the token. Can I try something? So uh, yeah, you want you want to try something? Try something. Yeah. Do I have range of sight over to this area or anything? Uh, like, actually, I. Well, I can. Now, not, I can not, see it. Yeah. Now I'm that the uh, it. now that the uh, the 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 dam here has been knocked down, yes, you can. Okay, so you remember those rocks I have? Yeah. Mm. I want to eat one of those boys over here to make them All look right. better. And go investigate yeet. over there. Yeet a rock over there. Okay, what am I rolling for that? <laughs> uh, I don't Please. think you should have to roll anything. You're just talking, yeah. you're just throwing a rock over there. Okay. I'll just let you do it. So. You throw a rock over there, and uh, uh, this goblin right here hears it. He points, he, he looks back at the other goblin, says, brother, 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 in goblinoid, <laughs> and then this goblin nods, turns around, and then looks over here to see what that was. That's all I get out of it. So he's looking yeah. at this goblin, and that goblin's looking over um, here. This goblin turns back to turns back to where he is. Where is he looking? What he's doing? He's looking what's he? down. He's looking, looking. He he basically he's trying to split his attention between these two passages right here. Okay. So I'm under stealth. I'm guessing Pin is, or is, is Pin stealthed? Yeah, pin is stealth. Yeah, okay. So you could probably whack him pretty quick. Or both if of I us. move up, that would be a flank, but I can't communicate with her because we can't see each other. No, so. but I'm also here, so we can hopefully take him out pretty quietly. So I mean, there's a good distance between the goblins. So we want to do, so between me and you, we want to try to do a sneak attack on this goblin that I see right in front of me, this one. Oh, uh, you tell me if it's a bad idea. I, I just started playing. Well, I, I'm new too. <laughs> yeah, we can try, try that. Okay. So which one of us is going to do it? Um, You're in sneak. I'm not. I'm still just in. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna try to do uh, try to sneak attack a um, unarmed strike. Two unarmed. Well, let's see. What do I have here? Uh, well, you rush up the stairs and you go to punch it, punch a goblin in the face. I'm gonna do a double one two. I'm gonna do an unarmed strike as hey, my main attack, for... and then I'm. Oh, do I do it with advantage because it's a sneak? Yeah, go ahead and do it with advantage, yeah. Let's see what happens. It's still being weird. So the first one was 14. Roll again. I don't know what the weirdness is. I don't know if there's some setting I need to do or what. I don't know what it is either. <laughs> So, advantage. <laughs> um, has it at 14. Okay. So, does yeah. that first strike um, hit? No, that first strike does not hit. Okay, second strike. Is the second strike advantage or just normal? Uh... 
Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. I can't hear y'all. Hello. Hello. We can text her like. <sighs> can you hear me now? Back? <laughs> can you hear me now? I heard some noises. There you are. Hello. I had to climb Hello. up and turn my router off again. Hello. I'm getting Hello. lots of exercise this weekend. Um. <laughs> so I guess I'm I missed on the okay. second I'm one. I. Uh, Yes, you missed. So I missed on, on both of them. So oh, I've... No. The th no, 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 no. That twenty-four hits. In fact, well, that but is an actual was that hit. an advantage or was that um because that was, was the second advantage. strike? It was advantage. The second strike. It was advantage. It okay. was advantage. Yes. Still technically all part of the same, the same turn. Okay, so I'll roll damage. The same surprise round. So for crit, what do I do? Well, let's see what it does when you roll it. Uh, okay, yeah, it rolled it. So is that it 10 or okay. what? Yeah, that's 10 damage for that second one. Okay. And, uh, it, basically, basically, you come pin... You get a very interesting, interesting view of 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 this particular attack. Um, <laughs> basically, you're watching you're watching this goblin as it turns towards you. You're still hidden, and it doesn't see you, but it turns towards you, and you see a fist go come out of nowhere, go back behind the goblin's head, and then another one come and just sort of punch it right in its face. And you get like the sort of one of those slow, slow mo like punch views of this goblin. Basically, <laughs> you see the goblin's face wrap around this fist just a little bit, <laughs> and, it, the, and, and you just and it just and, and it goes down. <laughs> it goes down in one. That's a that's a dead goblin. <laughs> one fist. <laughs> well, technically two. Well. <laughs> One hit. <laughs> uh, so, if me and Alistat were hiding right where that goblin is, would this stalactite hide us from the other two? Uh, well, they, uh, well, no, because this goblin, he would have heard the funk and uh, turned around and seen the other goblin fall and okay so like, we're engaging yeah them. you're we're out engaging of stealth now. now yeah you're out of stealth now. Okay. 
Pokemon battle music. Let's go. So who goes first? Oh, I think I can. I think I'm not going to be much of any use in this fight, so. Huh? I said, I'm not going to be much of use in this fight. What makes you say that? Why? Oh, think about it. I'm so far back. They were scaring so much from my way. Can move. What? But we're rolling initiative right now, so you can't move anymore. You yeah, have to stay where you are. Been take. I rolled a 15, and it said no. Uh, did you click on your. You've got to click on your avatar, yeah. I did click on your token. Yeah, you probably did. You just didn't notice. Okay. Cause yeah, it won't, it won't, it won't, it won't put it up unless you click on it first. Okay, now we can change it back to fifty. No, oh. no, now I see. Now I see. That makes sense. Okay, both you and Ron have the exact same initiative. Uh, who me? Me and Ron. So uh, we roll again. No, or? it's uh, it's actually Nick and Ron. Oh. And you have the exact same dex mod. But Ron had n a 19 yeah. up. Yeah, I, I rolled twice again. Yeah. I, I oh, got a okay. 19. Okay. And yeah. it actually put us in another stalemate. Yeah. So it's me and Ron. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah I see that. Um, What's your... Okay, so Ron's actually going to go because he has a higher dexterity mod. Same point. Okay. Okay. There we go. Alrighty. So yeah, first in the top uh, top of turn order is one itty bitty gob gobbo. I wonder if he's got line of sight. Let's, let's see here. Got line of sight. Oh yes, he has line of sight. Oh, oh, Alice, that you're yeah, gonna yeah. get, you're gonna, you're gonna get, you're gonna get I'm short gonna get hit. You're gonna short code. Uh, does a fifteen hit? Yeah. All right, I gotta, I gotta put this on public. Okay, short bow. You get four piercing damage. Okay. Alice, that takes four piercing damage. There's a. Uh, uh, this goblin decides to, uh, ooh, it's going to do something, it's going to do something interesting. It's going to run back in here, and it's going to hide. Mm -mm. Ooh. Ooh, let's see here. And it's going to suck. <laughs> it's going to really suck. All right. Uh, all right. So next in the turn order is Ron Skinner. Yeah. Uh, can I actually hold my turn until Curtis, aka our, you know, flashing swordsman, uh, plays? Like ready for action. It's all, yeah, can... it's all yeah, dark in can... here, right? Yeah, you can you can hold your turn until uh, Curtis until after Curtis goes. Yeah, you can do that. You've been playing a long Okay, time. so yeah, I hold my turn. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you can basically hold your turn. What you do is you hold your turn, and whenever you want to hop back in a turn order, you just go ahead and tell me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Ron Skinner is holding his turn. How's that? You uh, are next. So. My I'm line of sight, all I see is this other goblin over here. Um, this one. Alright. What you gonna do about it? I what can you tell you there's one behind him also. Um so I'm in between in between me and them is this stalagmite thingy, whatever this is. Yeah. 
does that mean I'm in half cover or anything? Well, that just put me in line of sight of a bunch of people. Okay. Yep. Well, I'm going to attack this one with... Um, I have... I have darts. So I'm going to um, use darts. Do I have to... Is, is there any kind of action to change weapons? I was unarmed before and I pull out my dart thingy. Uh, typically there is, but... To be honest, I find them more annoying than anything else, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about it. Yeah. I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's just say it's a it's a fifteen. It's a f I'm gonna say it's a free action to like pull a weapon and toss it. But if you want to pull out multiple weapons, it's gonna start using up more of your action economy. Yeah. Just the darts. Okay. So yeah, fifteen hits. Five damage. He is bloodied. Okay. Dart hits him right in the chest. He goes, ah! I'm pretty bloodied, too. <laughs> Why? Are you below half health? I'm 12. Is Not half health half? yet. Nope. Oh, well, then you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. That's it for my turn. Alrighty. Oh, look, another goblin. Oh, look, it sees you, Alice, that. Oh, look, Yay. he's drawing your short bow. Yeah. Does a 21 hit? Yeah. yeah. Seven piercing damage. Now I'm below half health. <laughs> uh, someone should get up here and help out Alice, that. I'm at five health. Alrighty. Nick. You should run back. <laughs> it is your turn. Well, I guess I should have done that. Okay. Sir Bard. So I'm going to try and make sure she doesn't get smacked in the face again and go here. And I'm going to attack that goblin. Alrighty. Attack so, that goblin. I still have both my weapons, so am I rolling on both of them? If you want to, yeah. Okay. That hits. Roll damage. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Whoa. Mm, four damage. All right, Wait, so was it two. a 20? Did he get a crit? No, it was 20. It was a 20. It was a, no, it was a 20. It was a crit. I, I'm so used to seeing Alice, that, you know, weird thing going on. Roll another <laughs> D8 for me. Another D8? Yeah, roll another D8. Six damage. Oh, yeah, it goes down. Oh, that dropped him? Hmm. Yeah, that dropped him. Okay. I, now, I imagine I can't yeet my dagger now, can I? Is it in your offhand? Yes. Go nuts. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to yeet it at this guy then. Now, you yeet it, you lose it, and you That's don't get fine. the... And you don't get the proficiency bonus on it. But yeah, yeah go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, roll damage. Does he have to take an action to get the dagger back? Do you, well, he has to pull it out of the corpse after he after he throws it, or he has to recover it. Yes. Uh, so that's half three life. damage. Nope, three damage because oh. you don't get the proficiency bonus. Well, I heard him. Man, I yeah, still have did. a sword, so I'm not too concerned with it. Okay. All right. Yep. That ends it for me then. All righty. Next up is another gobbo. The gobbo you just killed. Well, shit. It's not marked as. All two. right. Yeah. Then uh, next up is Pin. Pin, you're finally up in initiative. What are you gonna do? Am I? I'm. I'm stealth. If I jump Deal? Out, yes. I can't move. So I can't really take the damage. So I'll just scoot out. Whoops. Oh. Oh, 
I'm going to say you can fire around the stalagmite and it will give you like. <sighs> say half cover. Help? Half cover. Well, mm-hmm. if I can keep myself and just like poke up around without using my fish sense properly, I'll, I'll yeah. shoot him. Alright, which one are you shooting at? Ah, sorry. I will shoot. The front one. Alright, go ahead and give me an attack roll. With advantage. Okay, let me get... Oh, you just roll it twice. twice. Yeah. I thought there was a way you can, like, hold it down and... But it's fine. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, 18. Yeah, that hits. Okay. And it's dead. Vivi just walking around with a fifty caliber sniper rifle. <laughs> <there. laughs> yeah, it's and dead. And bonus actions. Oh, my... F- in my Friday night character, I actually carry around a sniper rifle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, you feel you feel stealthy. All righty, is that your turn? Mm-hmm. So, right. but I lost Next, my stealth it... because. Well, she she got it back because she can stealth on a bonus action. Okay. Um, and she didn't lose. She didn't lose her stealth to begin with because she didn't come out of stealth to attack. Did I? Uh, yeah, you did. Okay. When you when when you when you when you attack something, you 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 hit Especially it. Especially when and, it's melee and they and they're yeah you. yeah. Okay. And you know you hear you don't you don't just. You don't just turn away and not hear someone beating the crap out of someone behind you and go, huh, must be the wind. <laughs> uh, Curtis Snow Arrow, it's your, uh, your, your go. All right. So two of the, uh, two of the goblins are down, right? Three, I'm actually. Move, I'll move to three of them. Right? I'll move forward a little bit. Now I'm going to also turn off my... I'm gonna turn off my uh, my light. Well, I'm gonna keep it up a, for a little bit. So that's when I'm gonna right. turn it off. Are you keeping the light up or are you turning it off? Yeah, keeping the light up a little bit. Okay. Just, I like uh, how it literally shows little rays of light from him. Mm-hmm. So I moved about twenty feet. Mm-hmm. Let me move a little bit more. And can I fire? Um, can I fire a spell at that goblin I see over there? You have a spell to fire? Yes, I have. Uh, sacred flame. Yeah, you can fire sacred flame. Do you got cantrips? Did you take that uh, Paladin stance that gives you cantrip? Yeah, I got my cantrip. Okay. And I got Sacred Flame, which can go 60 feet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a dex... Like, is it dexterity? Yeah, the target must succeed on a dexterity save, uh, saving throw or take 1d8 damage. Alright, what's your spell save DC? My spell, oh, wait, my spell save? 13. Okay. Dexterity saving throw? Yes. Oh, he does not make it. What was it, a D8, you said, or D6? D8. All right, go ahead and roll a D8 for me. Seven. Seven, nice. All righty. He's looking pretty... Well, it's radiant damage, so I guess holy. Looking a bit toasty right now. I mean, maybe uh, irradiated? I don't know. Alright, Ron, you said you want to take your turn after Curtis. This is yep. time. Your turn. So I'm gonna one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I, I see people now. <laughs> it's a garbage. <laughs> I can move a six one, I guess. 
and yeah, I'm just gonna shoot this guy, I guess. Do um, it. Do it. Bam. That Whiff. is not a hit, right? That's not a hit. Sorry. No. So <laughs> that is my turn, I guess. No. Alrighty. Next is this goblin right here who thinks he he was stealthy as he jumps out and he attacks the first person he sees, which would be Curtis. Not Curtis. Uh, Ron Skinner. No. Does a twenty-one no. hit? <laughs> Oh. Alrighty, I'm guessing that hits. Five piercing damage. Five, no. As the goblin turn, runs right in here and he stealths again. He feels stealthy. Mm. Oh. Damn, the goblins. Gobbles. All right, how is that? You're up. Oh wait, wait, wait! But it is not my turn again. Like, how does this work? Because I held it last round. Yeah, you held it last round, so uh, that is where you are. The turn order now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No problem. Yeah. Coco. Yeah. How is that, Coco? Are you still alive? I'm still alive. Alrighty. Your turn. Do you want to move behind me so I can heal you up? See, if I move behind you, then I'm not going to have line of sight to shoot anything. All but right. I guess I, I'll, I'll move behind you and... Um... See, do I have line of sight still? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. But, let's see. But, I'm out of range of darts now. Well, it would be with disadvantage. Right? Because darts only 20. Yes. yes. So if I use produce flame instead, because that's a hand thing. Yeah. That's that, 30 What feet, range I think. is that? 30. That's 30 feet, I think, yeah. One, two, five. No, nope. that it would be a no. You said 30 feet, right? Or 20? That's an Yeah, eight. I missed. I, I don't think that's going to work. Yeah. All right. So that's it for my action. Next is one dead... Well, no, he's not dead. He's still alive. Hey, that's the live Gabo. The other one's dead. I'll just take him out. Ah. Yeah, we're going to have to this Gabo, seeing that things aren't going well, is going to run in here. He's going to run in here. And he's going to start. He's going to start <laughs> screaming at everyone mm. in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. I see a cougar. <laughs> There's a cougar down there. A cougar. It's a cougar now, huh? <laughs> a wolf? I don't know. There's there's a thing down there. Yeah, that's a wolf. That's a wolf. It's a bear. Yeah. Isn't, isn't, it, isn't it a bear? Isn't it a bear? It's a scorpion. And uh, so, yeah, it seems that yeah, that's over now. Okay. So I have okay. a question. What is a bonus action? A bonus yeah, action. You can do a new bonus. Yeah. Basically, you get three actions during your turn. You can get have a action, bonus action, and a free action. Okay, so I'm kind of stupid because I could have been using my bardic inspiration. Yeah, but you've been attacking with your offhand weapon for your bonus action. That oh, so that would be the bonus? Okay. That would be the bonus, yes. 
And then I have okay. actions and combat to weapon fighting. Does that affect anything, or is that just my ability to use that? That's just your ability to use that offhand. I'll take okay. that, yeah. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, okay, okay. Are we still technically in combat? You are still technically in combat. I'm blown, man. Uh, I'm going to put a short rest. And, a well, a short rest yeah. So, Nick, yes, you're up. Sorry about that. I had to, I had to change a few things here. All right. So, let me check something. That'll do. Am I in range to pick my dagger up from this dead one right here? Because I'd like that. Back. Yeah, yeah. You uh, go ahead and you can go ahead and rip the dagger out. I don't say that's reaction. Okay, so I'm gonna shout over to the team that I see. Two goblins, a wolf, and some guy in a top hat down here. <laughs> well, we need, uh, well, let's get rid of that other one. Let's try to see if we can heal up a bit before we take them off. They probably they already know we're here. Right. Stop the running. Then I'm gonna use the bardic inspiration on um, Pin. All right. And Pin, then I'm gonna end my next. You are inspired. <laughs> I see if there's a. I'm expecting a wild sniper blast here in a minute. Uh. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! What's going on here? Those are the pre-gen characters. I guess not. Okay. Alrighty, so oh shoot, I forgot to roll roll initiative for him. Sweet. Ouch. Okay, so yeah, the other guys. There's other guys joining the battle now. Um. um You already know about these guys. Wow. These guys suck. <laughs> no you. I have to go to there. Alrighty. So... I change some stuff here. Pin, you are next in the initiative, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to readjust things here. Sending. All right, excellent. We're all good. All right, Pin, you're up. I just posted what I did to you in chat in case you need that. Okay. The inspiration thing. So I'll just creep on around and uh, let the guy with the top hat just come on. Let's just see how this. Um. Oops. Yeah. Did uh, just add him again? No, it did not. Guessing. Uh. 19, yes. 19 hits. Aww. 8 damage. Oof. That's depressing. And for uh, doesn't boost that at all? No, it's just for the... No, it doesn't. The... the oh, okay. Well, it hit. <laughs> and then I'll just uh, put it around. 
around the corner and uh Hopefully you guys will get into melee so I can get the backpack and then go. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's blue. Oh. Alright, that's my, that's my, um, my thing. Oh, by the way, um, I have a party coming over pretty soon, which is gonna help me clean up my house, so. Um, and they have to drop out. How uh, soon? Uh, how soon? Um, I told her to meet me at three because I was think I don't think I'm gonna come back here that early. Yeah, that makes sense. Why not? Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, well we'll try and see if we can get through this. Uh Carter Snow Arrow, you are up. Alright. Move up a little bit. Done. Oh yeah. Yeah. One, two, five, ten, fifteen, twenty five, thirty. I'm going to try to see if I can hit that wolf with one of my sacred flames. Go for it. Uh, so it basically needs a 13 dexterity roll or a save check. Or does it nose me? And, uh, or does it nose me? Well, roll a seven. So probably. Not gonna work. Uh, so it rolled a seven. Rolled a seven, yeah. So, uh, so that means I need to see how much damage. It is. Yeah, you gotta roll your damage die. Seven damage. Shit. All right. Hey, Jay. All righty. So yeah, this particular wolf looks a lot. Bigger and meaner than the other wolves. So, and it, you just basically hit it with a with a with a blast of radiation, and it does not like that. Is that your turn? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Um, yeah, that'd be your shield, idea. Adam. Hmm. I don't like Is there a shield lob? <laughs> Why, this, this Captain is, America. Is Captain America. <laughs> Se uh, seal slash. <laughs> okay. So is that your turn? Is that your turn? That'll be my, that'll be my turn. Alrighty. Ron, you are next up in the turn order. Okay. <clears throat> So I'm gonna rush down here a little bit further. And so yeah, I cannot see everything, but I see this gobo here. Uh, he was uh he was wounded already, right? Just top hat guy. Yeah, he does he actually that gobo does look wounded, yes. Does uh, does he seem you know, willing to keep fighting to death, or he seems like cowering. No, he's cowering pretty good, but he still has his weapon in his hand. He looks like he's ready to fight, especially with the big guy in the top hat. Oh, I cannot see that guy. Yeah. What? Whatever. I'm gonna get another step in here and fire a bolt. Bam. And that is not a hit either. Oh that is goodness. not a hit. Sorry. So it bounces I was... off the cave walls and hits you in the knee. <laughs> As my bonus action, I, I duck and, and, and cry in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that many a time, yes. Okay, next is... Surprise Gobbo Attack. Uh... A gabo in the shadows. I'm not sure you could even see him, Ron. You might not even be able to see this gabo. Nope. 
but he is there, and he is going to make he is going to make a short bow attack with advantage on him. How long is about to get jumped? Wait, no, mm. well, no, I was saying it's a, well, it's a wolf. I'm not saying it's a wolf. Head. It's uh, a type of that's a that's a fifteen. Does fifteen hit you? I have. A uh, 15 AC, exactly. I don't know if that hits So, or yeah, not. a 15 does hit. Ty goes to the runner. So, uh, you take 8 piercing damage. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. Yeah. And this gob Gobbo goes and hides again because he can do that. Uh. Ooh, okay. And, uh, alright. Next is the wolf. And his name is Ripper. And, Ron? Yeah? You are the only thing this wolf sees right now. Oh, you were about to get maimed. Yeah, I think so. I'm about to, I'm about to run in there. This wolf runs up to you. And he uses his bite attack. 15 hits, oh, right? Oh, another 15. It's 11 piercing damage. And I am unconscious. You are unconscious. Mm. I'll say you might have to roll a DC strength saving throw, but nope, you're unconscious, so you're prone anyway. <laughs> I just All imagine right. Stevie Wonder running into a room full of, like, bad stuff and just completely always, blind. <laughs> always, as I always say, always don't rush into a situation. I don't think no. like that. Uh, nothing's gonna happen if you're always holding back. You can't know the bad situation if you can't see the bad situation. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you don't rush into a situation that's wildly screaming. He didn't Nick, scream. He didn't scream. He's Nick, does this? He flourished. Nick. Does a 17 hit, Nick? What, it went at me? Yeah. You. Um, I have an armor class 13, so yeah, that probably hit me. Boom. Four piercing damage. Okay. Do I have to adjust my life for that? Yeah. Yeah, on your character sheet. Yeah, I said that. I think it's a four. Yeah, four. I'm at nine. Oh. Well, uh... Just a scratch. This, uh, this bugbear, he goes, Rah! and he charges you. That's a bugbear. Okay. Yeah, it's a bugbear. He's, mm. he's wearing a top hat. He, he's wearing a top hat, monocle, and he has his, he has his, uh, the, the hair on his face dyed to look like a curly Q mustache. Okay. Can I sprint away? Uh, not now. So, uh, let's see here. Um, uh, a morning star attack. Uh, oh, there's a 16 hit. Uh, yeah, it's on 13. <laughs> okay, I gotta make this so it doesn't whisper the roll. Whisper toggle. There we go. Damage! Six piercing damage. What? Are you still up? Yeah, I'm at three. <laughs> I'm profusely bleeding. And dude, you're lucky. He rolled two ones. <laughs> it's a 2d8 attack. He rolled two ones. <laughs> So that uh, six damage is minimum damage you can do. Curtis, this is about to become your problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, we can stop Look this. Me. I'm about to do the bard and run right out of this cave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alice, that, it's your turn. Um, so, can I go into stealth mode? 
and then ready. You or, cannot. You do not have that ability to do so. Wait, no, actually, I'm not. I, well, no, let me check. Is there any see. benefit for you to be in spells? I'm at five health. <laughs> no, you can use a disengage but, or dash action by using a key point as a bonus action. So no. Yeah, um. I was gonna go in stealth, but then the fight brought was brought in here, but um, because everything that was in here wasn't seeing me anymore. But it's too late. Well, you're in the back ranks right now, and there doesn't seem to be anything using range out here. Just the big bugbear who wants to kill everybody. Um. So I'm gonna use produce flame on the bugbear, I guess. Alrighty. What's the next thing up? A goblin? Uh, yeah. There's a goblin in a thing. You're just in the line. Can Ooh. I run now that he hit me? 17 hits. Yep. Roll damage. Was he like D6? Or D8? Eight. Six damage. Nice. And then I'm gonna use my bonus action patient defense for one key point. Mm, the dodge action? The patient defense. Can I ready that? Or... No, you just How does spend, it work? Uh, Dodge basically uh, makes it so um, uh, attackers have disadvantage on attack. And typically it's an action, but since you use patient defense as a key yeah, point, patient it's a bonus defense. action. Yeah. So yeah, basically anybody who wants to attack you will now uh, will have, not have to do some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Take I turn. guess that's it. Alrighty. Hey, Nick. Nick. Yeah, he's going to attack me, isn't he? Yes. Does he even have line of sight on me? With Actually, the no. Anymore? Yeah, the bugbear's pretty li Are they large? Are they, uh... Actually, no. He's He, he, is, he isn't going to try to attack him because, yeah, you are engaged with the bugbear. He's going to try to attack Curtis instead. Um, Curtis. I'm guessing 11 doesn't hit. So yeah, Injured Gobba whiffs it, and next up is Nick. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and while I'm here, give this guy a quick smack in the face, and then I'm going to run away after. Uh, well, here's the thing. I know you're new, and so I'm going to tell you this. Yeah. Well, I guess movement first. Well, disengage. You know, when, when, well, hold up. Let me explain it. Whenever you run past an opponent's sphere, sphere of influence, if you run outside that sphere of influence, they can have an opportunity attack against you. Mm -hmm. Which is basically a free attack they can use with their reaction. Um, if you don't use the disengage action in order to avoid that, you might get hit and you might not. And I'm pretty sure I don't have a disengage action. Being a everybody has it. Everyone everybody has, has it. Everyone has oh. it. That's one of the things everyone has. Okay, so that would just take the place of my main action? Yeah, basically it would take oh. place of the attack action. Right. So I'm a so I'm a so, about that take. He takes six or Yeah, how much the bugbear does he, took, he took he took he took he took eight from Pin and then six from Alistair. So, what condition is that thing in? He doesn't... He looks pissed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, presumably I can use my main action to run over yonder. Yes. And then I can still yeet my dagger back at him? No. Because oh. you did... You, because did you, you recover didn't take it? the attack action. Yeah, he recovered it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I recovered it. But you I didn't know if that a... wasn't an attack action or if that was a secondary. So if I'm going to have to face the bug, I'm going to face the bugbear. 
Right. Um, so yeah, Definitely. I'm going to run over here and say, uh, yeah, Curtis, that's your problem. But I am going to use my Bardic Inspiration. Uh, and it's going to hit regardless. I already know it. So. Do it on me so I can basically yeah. take some damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Curtis, you're getting the Bardic Inspiration. Awesome. Oh, uh... <laughs> Alrighty. So is that your turn? Yep. Awesome. Ten, you're up. Am I hidden from him? <laughs> oh, you had 20 uh, last time, so... I'm... I guess you got kind of... You got kind of tunnel vision on the, uh, on the Bard. I'm going to say that he didn't notice you, no. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do my level class spell. Um, because this is the way I roll. And an advantage. And obviously, I think that hits. Yeah, it hits. Okay. Uh, that's what thirteen damage. Thirteen damage. Yeah, it's thirteen damage. All right. Okay. Now he's bloodied and he is pissed. <laughs> Curtis. Oh, I should probably move. Oh, yeah, you should probably... Yeah, I'm going to go move around the stalactite myself. Okay. Back with all, all the right, wounded people. <laughs> yep. Roll me stealth. Okay. Curtis, you're up. All right, so I, so I roll twice on my uh, my attack. Do you? Well, like, he gave me Bardic Inspiration. Oh, no, you roll, and then uh, if you need to, you roll a d6. And okay. add that to your attack roll. Now you can roll a t6 and add it to your attack roll. Okay. Six. I took a d6. Uh, on roll 20, the easiest way to do it. As you see those symbols on the map over to the left there, they're not on the map, but they're overlaid. It's got like the little arrow symbol, and it's got a bunch of other symbols. Down at the bottom, there's like a little D20 symbol. Oh, you yeah. Over, um, over that. You see it? Um, well, yeah, like, yeah, I see it like on D&D Beyond. I rolled a four. On uh, D&D Beyond? Yes. All right, I'll take it. But, uh... Uh, let's see here. So yeah, that would be a hit. Just barely. Go ahead and roll damage. And for my hit, according to what it says for my action, it says uh, that when you hit with a melee attack, you can spend one spell slot to deal radiant damage. Yeah, uh, smite. Alright. So first uh, I think it's, I, I can't remember, what is it? 2D... Yeah, 2D8. 2D8, yeah. So yeah, go ahead and I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna add my own sword damage. Oof. Yeah, then add your sword damage. Ouch. Oof. Oh, Thirteen. Oh, and he goes down. Now ah. his paladins you are overpowered. Monster, <laughs> monster! You just you just attack. You came into this guy's house <laughs> and you. Beat you, you you beat the crap out of him him and his and his people for no other reason than you know he kidnapped he kidnapped two people. I take full credit for that. He would have missed <laughs> if it wasn't for me. What if he was feeding his children? What if he had died of a heart attack or something? He was shot. Uh, okay, right. right. He kidnapped them. So, Curtis, is that your turn? Yes. Uh, well, wait, hold on. I'll, yeah, like I move like ten feet. I'm gonna try to see if I can move down to Ron to try to save him. Right, a chance. Well, you don't. Yeah. Well, no, you use your action and bonus action. Yeah. 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 You use your use your action and bonus action, so you can't really help him right now. Oh. But yeah, you can move down to him. Of course, you can move down down to him. Yeah, I know I can't heal him right now, but. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get right here so that the wolf and, and the wolf and the goblin will try to focus on him. Oh, yeah, the wolf's still there, isn't he? Alrighty, Curtis, 
Not Curtis. Dang it, I keep getting you two confused. Ron. Yeah, you'll try to fix your uh, names in here once you're uh, when you have time. Roll me a death saving throw. That sounds really bad. It's, it's just a d20. You'll be fine. Yeah, just roll a d20. Okay. Uh... You keep track of it on your... I think there's an area to keep track of it on your sheet somewhere. Success. 17. That's good. Success. You're good. You're good for now. Alrighty. Next. Yeah, I don't know where it is on the sheet. So what happens uh, if you die? I know where it is on the... On your your, your I, twin your twin comes to take vengeance on you and take up your place to kill yeah, your own yeah, dreams. Yeah, sure. Her. Right. <laughs> and, the, and then your twin dies from rocks falling on them. <laughs> uh, Curtis. Yes. An arrow comes out of the darkness. Pew pew. Does a 21 hit? Yes. You take oh. eight piercing damage. Oh, I'm down at seven. As you see, your light shines upon this goblin. And it tries to hide again. But I think we'll I'll give him disadvantage because it's not gonna go away. And 13, I think that doesn't beat the roll, so. Ah, whatever, it doesn't matter, so I won't see him. Okay, um, next is Ripper. Hey, Curtis. Get ripped. Oh, am I in GM? I am on GM. I need to be on the object interface, there we go. Uh. He's gonna give you the old rip and tear. Ooh, ooh, you're lucky. It nobody's near it. It's a uh, bat tactics. It misses. You're still up. <laughs> Happy day. But you are gonna get short bowed by another goblin. He misses. And it, it misses. <laughs> and that's a dead bugbear. By the way, that's a token for one for a character I played once. His name was Sir Bugsby Barrington the Third Esquire. Cute. So he's a lawyer. No, that's yeah. just the name he. That's just the name he used. <laughs> well, guys, I think I deserve you guys to come help me deal with this wolf, so I can help save, Ron, so I can heal Ron, and he can deal with that goblin down there. So can somebody All like right. yell out to me what's around the corner? Okay, I, can see. I can't see I, nothing. I can see a uh, goblin. Uh, goblin is like. Goblin. Twenty feet away from me. Twenty feet away from me. I have a wolf directly in front of me. Ron is like diagonally from me. He's dying. And there's another goblin down, uh, down close to the bottom floor. Um. Well, I might be dying. <laughs> If anyone's gonna die, it'll be me. Uh, it'll be me. Yeah, he's literally blocking the staircase. Nothing can come past him. I'm gonna stand on top of the goblin, I guess. <laughs> oh, I mean, nothing can come past him yet. Um, and oh, I'm gonna use um, produce flame to on the wolf. Wait, so where? So I could okay. use it on the wolf or the goblin. Let's see. Use it on the wolf, like so I can get him directly off. Okay. Oh, oh. Damn. That's nice. Yeah, that that's Produce a hit. flame. Yep. Turning black. Oh, 
four damage. Eight crit. I got a crit, right? Yeah, or did I get a no. crit? Oh, no. No, you got a 19. Oh, okay. At least I think it's a 19. I don't know what your... Produce flame is yeah, plus six, so yeah, okay. It, ro it rolled a 19. So yeah, okay. We'll just, we're just going to go with that. Um, uh, so yeah. yeah. The wolf looked pretty bad off, but still up. Next That's is okay. nearly And dead. I'm going to... Okay, no, I... So I guess my, um, whatever is, is it still active or no? Yeah, what is Patient active? defense. Nope. It's no longer active. One round. Okay. So you good, or do you want to um, move out of the way, or what do you want to do? I guess I can move, how many did I move? I just moved Maybe three. Here. I'm going to... Yeah, it's not much. Take like I'm gonna move back, but that's still ha is that half cover there? Uh, I'll give you three quarters for that one because it's a wall, but it's not covering you all the way. So okay, plus four to your AC. Plus four. Okay. Yeah. But uh, this goblin's not really worried about you right now. More worried about the big shiny paladin. armored paladin. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and he's gonna whiff a, a short bow attack at him that fails miserably. Uh, but uh, hey, uh, Curtis, did you know that goblins can hide behind stalagmites? Mm. Oof. Oof. 23. Oof. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh, so is he down damage. now? It's 11 damage. Level 2 fights now. Hmm. So he dead. He's no. down. He's not dead. Too stingy on that lay on hands. Again, but how is I supposed to? Well, again, I can't really use my lay on hands all the time. I should have probably just like been, uh, should have been by the stairs instead. Hey Bard, do did you uh use did you uh, pick up healing word or something? Nope. Okay. No. Well, how am I gonna save us? I'm not gonna save You can't. Like You're down. You're down. Him. Yeah, you can stabilize him. Alrighty. Nick, you're up. What's the process of like getting somebody up and all that? Running up to them and making them a me making a medicine check on them. Mm -hmm. And also check your inventory to make sure there's if you have anything in there or not. I don't have anything useful for that, but um. So what's it like if you pass a medicine check? What happens? Stabilized. And yes, they're stabilized. Are do they, they come back with health? No, or? no, they just don't have zero. to do saving throws anymore, right? Yeah, they're at zero at that point. Hmm. Is there a way to heal them? Pass out without magic? Nope. Potion. Potion. Which but those we are don't technically have. magical. Yeah. Or medicine kit. Is that a thing? Which we don't have. If you have yeah. it in inventory, yeah. Mm. So we probably need to work on getting the performing kits up. Yeah. We might have some potions around. What's our wolf looking like? Wolf is looking pretty messed up. Okay. Right. So. I'm going to go here oh, and um, eat my dagger. Hey, At, uh, uh, well, no. Can I, from where I was over Nick, here? You don't have any spells. No, I don't. It didn't give me an option to add spells. So, okay. So yeah, that that is an oversight. That's an oversight. Uh, an oversight on my part. Do you want? Do you want to 
Do you want to grab Healing Word? I mean, if I can have it, sure. Yeah, because you should have spells. It didn't okay. give me an option for any spells when I set it up. I thought I should. Okay. So click on yeah. the character sheet on your spells. Two cantrips and five spells. You can grab five spells. That's mm. part of the joys of being a bard, is being super versatile. <laughs> yeah. My yeah, spells man. menu is I, completely empty. I, I yeah. feel bad for you if you feel this way and you didn't have any But where do I manage spells? spells? Manage spells. But where? Oh, I okay, see. Okay, okay. Yeah, go it. ahead and share. Yeah, share screens if you have them. No, I think I got it. Okay. Yeah, it's on me. So yeah, we got cantrips. Don't take true strike. True strike sucks. Uh, spells I have look really stupid. I don't have healing words anywhere on here. Oh, they're there. Okay, so learn that for sure. Um, Featherfall seems kind of useless for now. What's cure words do? Is that for like uh, poisons and stuff? That's cure okay wounds. To yeah, cure healing wounds is, is basically nice. Sorry. it's it's basically a more powerful version of healing word, but you have to actually touch the person in order to use it. Uh, I might get that too. And healing okay. word is really nice because you can use it as a bonus action, so you can still hit something and then heal mm -hmm. it. So how many yeah. uh, how many spells can he have ready at once right now? Uh, he just has has his spells. He doesn't need to ready any. He just oh, knows okay. his spells. How many spell nice. slots does Bard get? As a is it two uh, or three? He has five known spells, two cantrips, and three spell slots. That's cantrips cantrip. are free to use. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so some of these say first and some say cantrip. So like what's the difference on that? The first cantrips is just the cantrips, yeah, cantrips are for basically free to use. They don't use up any spell slots. Um first so level I spells can just use a call those first. at any time. Yeah. Okay, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> I I like the image of you getting thunderclap as a cantrip, and whenever you wanna, whenever you want to uh, use it, you basically just break out your bagpipes and scroll them really loud. <laughs> so that's an AOE. Jeez. Yeah, it's an AOE. The yeah, downside like to it is that it's very loud, and so if you're in a cave situation like this nobody else knew about us, you'd be announcing yourself. Yeah. Yeah. This Sounds is... great. <laughs> it's real He's getting the spells to do it. And you know that coming from is also this wolf. Uh, wolf. Comprehend languages is a really good one, because you can understand what people are saying, what other people are saying. <laughs> uh, it doesn't let you speak them, but it does let you hear what, understand what they're saying. Right now I'm at... Yeah, I get five, right? Five. Yes. Yeah, so I've got animal friendship, cure wounds, heal wounds. Hello. Hello. It succeeds. So, uh, would I have to do the on uh, Curtis and uh, to get them like the actual touchment, or can I use healing word at a distance? You can use healing word at a distance, yeah. And that would get them up. Yes, it would get them up. Yep. Okay. That's why healing word is broken. Uh, 
another one that's good is a uh, bane um because you what is it it's it's like the opposite of uh, um gosh what's 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 the one that yeah they they have to allies? try like a yeah that's bless that's yeah. bless it's like the opposite of the bless bane ability okay i think i got a pretty good layout here so heroism is a really good one that one saved my ass on a yeah, couple of occasions that's what I picked up. Okay, so what you got so far? I've got yeah, ammo for chip, gear war. I'll just reload. Reload. Okay. There you go. I can see what you picked up. So the curing wards is for more, right? Cure wounds is more. It yeah. does more healing, but it's a touch spell. Healing right. word is less to a distance. And it's bonus. So you right. can still use your, your daggers or your... Um... You could still attack physically. The healing, healing words is the bonus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to do that. So I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. Uh, but you, you didn't pick up um, pick up your cantrips. The what? Cantrips. I thought I did. Yeah, you didn't learn your cantrips. You guys gonna um, save it? How many of those do I get? Three. Uh, two. 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 Oh, okay. I suggest Vicious Mockery and maybe Message or Maychan. Oh, yeah, I uh, see. You don't need Light, because you already have Dark Vision. Uh, Press the Digitation of Minor Illusion is a good one, too. But Vicious Mockery is fun. You basically you basically make fun of people, and it hurts them. <laughs> so it's like... So it's like... It's like... It's like being an internet troll, only in D&D. I love me. I'm sorry. I'm cold. The thing is running long. Hey, right, we can, we can, we can. <laughs> it's fine, you guys. I'll just, you'll be overhearing this. You guys oh, go ahead. Fine. Continue on with it, because I just still, I'm so wild before my turn. Okay, there we go. So now can I do the thing? Yeah, go ahead and do the thing. All right, so I'm going to... Do, 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 do. Priority Click would be on anyone that's down. Yes, so I'm going to use the cure wounds on Curtis here and get him back up. All right, go ahead and roll it for me. Nice. Ten hit points for Curtis Snow Arrow, and you are back up. Yeah. And then healing words for... Uh, you can't, I don't think you can use two spells in one turn. And You have to mark off your spell slot, too, if that was a full spell yeah. for cure wounds. Yeah. Okay, so what's that mean? Down, if you scroll down, you should see somewhere oh, some yeah. boxes. So yeah, I use I marked it. Okay. So that's the only one I can use then. Are there any yeah, bonus actions? Only... Yeah, I thought the healing words was the bonus is action. Is that a cantrip? It is. A, it is a bonus action, but you can't use two. I don't think you can use two spells in one turn. It says one B A on it. I yeah, it is a bonus action, but again, I don't think you can use two spells in one turn. Okay. I can do this Why is that? Thing. I'm going to I'll use... I'll have to check. I'll just use Bardic Inspiration on um, Coldison. That way, when he rolls a saving throw, he doesn't die. Will that Let work? make sure. <laughs> but I know. Uh, I can't remember if it was two. Uh, that's great. If you want to use, if you want to use healing word on on Vaughn, go ahead and use healing word. 
I'll yeah, I mean, look, I'll have to look up the rule. I, I can't remember what it is right now. I play I, rogues a lot, so I can't remember. I would prefer to do that if we're, we're going to let it. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Don't worry about it for now. All right, Ron, you get six points of healing damage and healing damage. Healing, and you are back up. Okay. I am, I thank you, Hayden. Yep. I wish I would have known I had spells before. <laughs> but nobody That's ever fine. told me about this. Yeah, that was that, that that was my fault. Sorry about that. Um but yeah, you, you wanna you wanna stay there, Hayden, or do you wanna run like a little I'm gonna run away bit. if I can. Yeah, yeah go ahead and run up. away, dude. Yeah, back up a little bit. Now, Pen, can you come and please arrow this wolf in the face? Oh, uh, sorry, what? Is it my turn now? Yep. Yep. It is your turn. Oh, wait. Oh. I didn't inspire you. Oh, wait. No, that was my Yeah, I, I'm actually still inspired by you. Um, Sorry, which one am I going for? Wolf? Kill the wolf. Yeah, the wolf. Okay. Uh, smacking the wolf. Actually, I'll go in closer because I do have a nature pool. So I can tank at least. <laughs> um, What is it? I will go ahead and... uh. What is it? On the wolf. Um, and then, unfortunately, no crit. But it is down. Yeah, and then I'm. I don't know if that's getting about. I shouldn't bother trying this, but can I stealth what and I like use the stalagmite away f to try to stealth myself away from the other gobbles on the other side? If not, it's. Uh... I think that's pushing it a little bit. Well, I, just, I mean, I got cover though, from him, do I? Uh, yeah. I mean, the goblins behind them can't like, oh, half cover. Okay. Of course, they have half cover from you too. It's a bit of okay. give and take. So if I uh, so if I go around them, since I know that they're kind of over there, does that mean I can uh, that they won't have an would they have an advantage or disadvantage over me? No, they just have half cover. Okay. All right. Now, uh, but yeah, you're you're good. Curtis, you're up. Uh, I'm going to. I am coming over here to smack the smack that one that practically downed me. Mm -hmm. Does nope. eleven hit? No, no, eleven does not hit. Uh, can I use some of my lay on hands? Yeah. Well, right. no, I, is lay on hands an action or a bonus action? Not sure. I'm not sure. It would be listed under your sheet as a bonus action if it's a bonus action. Yeah, it's probably an action, so. I guess I'll just stay right here and just guard against them. Okay. Next up. Is Ron Skinner? Yeah, that's me. So... You're alive. <laughs> Finally. Happy Give day. The... Um... Happy day. Give her that one that's all about to die. That's in front of you. Hey, don't you have healing I... spells there, Mister Paladin? Well, I will. Um, no, like, uh, like the only two spells I have is life and uh, life and. Uh, my sacred flame. I should have gotten mending instead, because it could help deal with a lot of problems. Well, mending isn't gonna heal people. Yeah. You're no, that. That's you, how you, you fix a key. You have spells at second level. Well, I'm saying like, okay, then can I use my can I use my spells? You've on? already used your action right now. You've already used your action. Yeah. Totally. You can look and see what spells you can add. You just yeah. do what Hayden just did. Yeah, just I go ahead and do what Hayden just did. I can't add uh, any of the first level yet. But we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait until uh, we'll wait until your next turn to be able to use them. All right, Nick is Ron. What you yeah. gonna do? Explore. I wanna, I wanna take cover behind the the big dog of corpse, and I guess I'm gonna shoot this guy. Because I know there is another guy here and here, 
uh, here, but I cannot fully see them. Oh, you can see this guy right here. Can... You can see this guy right here. He's clear and in the open. Yeah, what well, I, I I guess uh, this yeah. guy is 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 wounded already. No, I think that's no, this 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 guy is wounded already. This is wounded one right. Here. Yeah, but I cannot see him. He's in the dark for me. Is he? Why would he be in the dark he for should, you? He shouldn't be. Oh, we can't see. Curtis is behind a. Curtis is behind a stalagmite. Exactly. That's why. That's why. That's why. You can't well, see him at all. Wow. He's basically just two steps in front of you. Just yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> but I'm gonna. Oh wait, no, actually, there is a there is a fire going in the middle of the, in the middle of the thing. So. Oh ahead, okay, okay okay okay. So it, ahead, oh, if there's okay, a fire. So okay. I take my revenge at the guy more or less here. <laughs> I still cannot see, but I can see. Okay. Yeah. Go so. Ahead and... Bam. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> well, I take cover and keep on crying, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, mm, uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, goblins next. Here. Actually, it should be 20 and 20. Like a torch. Save settings. There you go. That better? Yeah, yeah. That's good. Okay. Next is this Gabo right here who will actually try to attack Pin. But Pin has. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll attack and see. We'll, we'll see. My AC is 15, by the way. So, um. I well guess then, you... I think I think Mr. Gobble is probably going to move up a little bit. He's going to attack you with the scimitar. Uh, seven. I I'm guessing a seven doesn't hit. Okay, we'll move nope. on. We'll move on. <laughs> Ripper's dead. All right. This goblin here is going to attack Mr. Curtis Snow Arrow with his scimitar. At 21. Oh. Actually, How there's a stalagmite a... there. Is, there's a stalagmite there, isn't there? Ah, still though. Even even with half half cover, he'd still probably hit you. Wait, what's your what's AC? 20? Yeah, my AC is 18. Okay, yeah, he'd still hit you by one. <laughs> Alrighty. So, eight slashing damage. I'm still up. Just need to heal a bit. It's the first aid. Still up. Alright, how is that? I am I going to produce flame on this one. Alright. Go ahead and roll. Nope. Nope. Doesn't hit. And I'm Sorry. going to stay where I am under cover. What did you say my cover was? Plus four? Three. Plus three. Plus four. Well, don't leave us hanging. Plus four. Don't leave us hanging. Be free more. Trouble than where I was. Um, I think you have more health than me right now. I have two. You have two. Yes. Well, I've done you. I've done my action. I can't do anymore. Yeah. Right. So, Mister Little Gabo here is going to attack. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> attack me, attack me. No, he's gonna attack. He's gonna attack the closest one to him. Does 17 hit? Me? No, mm -hmm. Ron. Ron. Does 17 hit? Uh, yeah, it does hit. Yeah. And it's gonna hit for. Oh, okay, okay. One HP. 
<laughs> you're you still standing. On? You guys are hanging <laughs> on. Uh, all right. This goblin here is in, currently engaged with Curtis Snow Arrow. Scimitar wait, wait, roll. Wait, I, and I eight doesn't the, hit. Wait, I thought. So wait, there are four goblins in this room? Yep. Uh, that you can see. Sorry. Yep. All right. So this goblin whiffs it. Doesn't hit. Nick, you're back in the game. So, run here. <laughs> Going to use um the cure wounds is the big one, right? That I have to be yeah, close. Yeah, cure for. wounds is the big one. Yeah. Yeah. So coldest is gonna get cure wounds. Ooh. What a bug the six. <laughs> Better than nothing. Yes. Yeah. And then I. I think I'm in range to get Curtis with uh, healing words. Uh, you just used up your last spell slot. Right. Okay. So what is that per fight? Do you get that many? Rest. For long. For long rest. Ah. So there's a sh some of a slots will say short rest. Some will say long rest. Mm. Well, it depends. It depends on depends on what kind of magic spell casting you have. Yeah. We're gonna do a long rest of this. Okay, so then I guess I'm going to inspire Curtis and then back up, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, so you you got an extra roll for inspiration, and that's all I got. Alrighty. Let's see here. The next is Pin. Who got your inspiration? Curtis. All right. Pin, you're up. Yes. Sorry, I'm <laughs> running back and forth. Um, Awaken computer. Oh, sleep on me. Okay. So, who's still up? Who looks bloodied? Who, who's what? What's going on? I, uh, I'm, at two, uh, I'm at two health. Ron's at six. Um, okay. Um, I'm not... What do these goblins look like? Do any of them look like they've been bloodied or whatever already? This one looks bloodied. The rest of them look fine. Okay. Um. I'll go ahead and uh, stabby stab. What is it? I'm gonna have to take out my rapier, but I'll um I'll stab the one that's click select. There we go. That one. And with pack tactics. <laughs> yep, you have advantage. That's a 21. That's a hit. That's a dead gabo. Da 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 da. Um, dead gabo. Is there a wall right here? Yes, there is a wall right there. Okay. <laughs> Just the blackness is kind of annoying. So I'm kind of in between uh, what is it, coldest and the, the goblin right now? Mm hmm. Okay. I'll just, I'll just keep myself plopped here, okay? Plop. Plop. Is that gob? Is that gob up there, like oh, behind cover? Oh, isn't it? Man, why can't my grovel thing be a um? Yeah, what is it a bonus? A bonus action. Cause it's already, cause it's already too broken. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Curtis, uh, yes, that goblin is sort of kind of behind a stalagmite, but if you walk up to it, it will. Well, I'm, t it I'm, will tempted to walk I'm tempted to walk up and just heal myself because I kind of need it. Okay. All right, I do kind of want to swing at it, but... But you only have one action. Yeah, you can yeah. walk up and heal it. Heal yourself. 
<laughs> the All goblin. Right, lay on hands. <laughs> All right, lay on hands. All of it? I think it should be like 10 yeah. hit points. Hold on. Uh, yeah, 12, uh, 12 now. All of it. All righty. All the lay on hands in the world. Yeah. Do it. All righty. And I'm right, uh, right by that goblin, just ready to, fa uh, ready to face him. All righty. Is that your turn? Yes, that'll be my turn. Okay. Ron, you're up next. Okay, can I can I point blank shoot this guy with no <laughs> penalty with my crossbow? No. You're gonna have disadvantage because uh, if you're a gay, unless you have um, I think I think there's a feat where you can. Oh no, that's a homebrew feat. That's right. No, you can't. If you're within five feet of an uh of an enemy. Of an enemy, you get disadvantage on uh, range attack. Okay, so then I pull out my sword and yell, "Be gone, gob!" And that is not a hit, right? No, well, that's not a hit. Oh, oh my no. God. Was there an inspiration on him, or no? Do you I have don't think so. No, no inspiration. Maybe he needs the inspiration next. Alrighty, next up. Goblins are more public than that one. This goblin right here is going to scimitar you, Curtis Snow Arrow. Nope. He whips it. Hmm. Next goblin is going to scimitar pin. If I can get the sheet open. And click the right button. Seven? Probably not. Alrighty. How's that? It's your turn again. I'm gonna go ahead and come up here and one, two, and arm strike this goblin. Please. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Please save me. <laughs> yeah, that is a no on the first one. You're gonna use um, flurry of blows. Um, I already clicked on unarmed strike. <laughs> well, flurry of For blows the is second one. Gives you an extra bonus so action. okay, yeah. uh, but that does that one yeah. use a spell slot or no? It it uses a key point. Yeah. Um, that is a twenty-two. So let me roll damage on that. I um only have one key point slot left. Yeah. I want to. I wanted to save it for defense, patient defense. Mm. But so that was a twenty-two. Yeah. Um. Alrighty, five bludgeoning damage, and the goblin. Ah. Goes down. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my Finally. um patient defense. My you last, already my used last... the bonus action. You already used the bonus Oh I already used the bonus action. Okay, never mind. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, well I'm done then. Alrighty. So the next two goblins are both dead. So boop boop. Boop. There we go. Nick, it is your turn. Alright. Now you do have. Did you pick? Did you decide on uh, decide on a couple of cantrips? Yeah, I'm thinking about using vicious mockery. Yeah, that's a good one because it also gives them a disadvantage on their next attack roll. Yeah. Ooh, blade ward. Ooh. Ooh. I like it. Ooh. Okay. So defensive. <laughs> Um, I'm back and forth on what would do more damage, um, vicious mockery or just eating my dagger at it. Eating the dagger would probably do more damage, but vicious mockery does give them disadvantage on their next attack roll. 
unless is it is it I think it's a save, isn't it? Yeah, DC thirteen wisdom save. Oh, how much health is uh Pen and Curtis at? I'm at twelve health, so well, I'm at twelve health, so I'm fine. Ron's still at six. Pen, are you still at full health? I think Pin's still at full health. Yeah, those are the only two I'm really worried about because there's nothing else up here. Oh, uh, like there are two, go oh, yeah, two goblins, like one that I'm facing right now, one Pin is facing. Yeah, I doubt either one of those are going to kill you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and actually let me see if I have the distance from where I was. Yeah, you should be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think the one over here, um, this guy, if I went to this spot, I would have a hard time hitting him through that crack, I'm guessing. I think he would, yeah, he'd probably have at least half cover. Yeah, so I'll come to this one, and I'm uh go ahead and double tap him. Is it an advantage because of flank or anything? No. All right, so... There's, uh, there, there's, there's no flanking because... Um, they're not on opposite ends of the Opposite ends, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to roll for the sword. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. That's a crit. That's a crit. Oh, dude. You you bifurcate this guy. <laughs> Did I need to roll again? You made, you made some goblin oh. sausage for the for the doggies. No, <laughs> you done you done wrecked them. Yeah. <laughs> Explodey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I right. still have a move. Did you you have a move. So, are you doing any bonus actions or anything? Well, I could still use my offhand, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna. And then poke him with the dagger. <laughs> yeah, Alright. Go ahead and roll. Womp womp. <laughs> nope, that didn't work. I'm swinging and a mess, whatever. Have fun, Wendell. Okay. <laughs> Pin's turn. Oh. Bing. Your goblin's about to get gang banged in the corner. <laughs> Pretty much. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, this goblin. As he's flanked oh, now, he right? No, he's. Is he? No, he's not. Well, Hayden's Actually, yes, on yes, one yes, he is. side and... Yeah, Yeah, but she has pack tactics. So she already has it. Okay. He is looking very, 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 very bad. I couldn't finish him off. I'm sorry. Close. Uh, no, like, you're fine. Punch him in the eye. So how's he looking? Just punch him. <laughs> like, uh, really? he looking... He looking her. He looking really bad. Your leader Clark is dead. Most of your men are dead. All right, give up now. Or we'll let you live. We want some questions to ask. Let's speak for yourself. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> intimidation. Her intimidation. Intimidation check. Uh, he looks at you, he looks, he looks at you, he looks back at all his buddies dead, and he's a, Mah! and he starts running. Where's he gonna run to? I'm he's surrounded. surrounded. Pack of opportunity, uh, runs away? He can't if run you anywhere. Got, if, you want, if you want to take an attack of our opportunity, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I'll take it. 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 They they put these guys down, so I'm gonna go ahead and do attack of opportunity. Yeah, that's right. three attacks yeah. of opportunity. <laughs> oh, yeah, at least I'm three. Crap out of him. That's why. At least three, and everyone gets an attack part. of opportunity here. <laughs> two, three, four, five. Yeah, literally everyone. Everyone. The, <laughs> literally everyone would get an attack of opportunity. That was a stupid <laughs> goblin. Uh, <laughs> twack, 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 twack. <laughs> Everybody give me your attacks of opportunity. I want to see how dead this goblin ends up. <laughs> uh, I mean, he oh. literally doesn't make it past Pin. 
Well, I don't no, know. He doesn't make, no, he doesn't. He doesn't make it past you. Oh, uh, right. And uh, Ron, go ahead and give me your attack of opportunity, please. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that, now I'm gonna go my my natural twenty. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> would he have run by Ron? Yes, he would have. He because he would have run like right here, not right right here. Yeah. And out. So okay. yeah, he would have run by Ron. So dead. Alright, so uh Pin and Pin and uh so how the goblin starts running off. Everybody starts dogpiling on him. Pin and uh Curtis, you both miss your attacks. Nick actually manages to Nick actually manages to take up his long sword and slice straight through the goblin's neck. At which point his head goes flying, and Alistair <laughs> takes a takes a swing at it and punches it straight into the straight into the pool over here. The empty pool. <laughs> into the pool. And Ron tries to take a swing at the flying head, but misses. That's about the same. Be right. <laughs> <laughs> and that is that is it. Does anybody else want me to bring out the other two gobbles I had waiting in the wings for for this for this no. encounter? No. Okay. <laughs> My back and left cheek hurt. <laughs> yeah. I had, I had a couple extra gobbles waiting, but no, he, I was like, uh, probably best to hold back, because I already had two players down, mm -hmm. and two of them <laughs> were just, two, two that were about to go down. Mm -hmm. so I was like, oh, I'll, I'll hold on. Okay, well, so, was, are we out of combat now? You are out of combat now. I would say that oh. that's probably going to be the session for now. And okay. we'll worry about we'll worry about what we're going to do. Continuing. Can we okay. call it a long rest so I can buff everyone? Well, we have I to decide we... what we're going to do, and then then we can yeah. do that next session, I guess. Okay. Uh, just before not... uh, just before we are done and cutting it a day, uh, the big doggo. Here, yeah, that uh, wasn't a special though, all right. It wasn't special, the big doggo, yeah, like he has a he, he got a name. Oh, Ripper, yeah, yeah, yeah. He 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 had a name and everything, and uh, he was Clark's pet. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, mm -hmm. and does he, he just... look uh, well, did he, he look healthy and well fed? Yeah. Okay. You basically just you basically John Wick Ripper's dog. <laughs> From as we John Wick John Wick Clark's dog. Clark's dog, yeah. Are we John Wick Clark first. You want to skin him? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I yeah. want him. <laughs> All right. Sticking sticking to the sticking to the to In fact, you know what? Go ahead and take an inspiration for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you, so you an mark, yeah, you mark that. that on your sheet. Yeah, basically you'll get a you'll get advantage on any roll that you want. Oh, like I need I need my help. I need my healing hands back. Yeah. Right now, like, so oh, oh. We, can um, I ransack the stuff over here for loot? Yeah, you all want to make inve investigation checks on the loot. So over are on we that side. are we ending here or are we gonna continue? Uh. We'll do this real quick. Loot. Yeah, we'll do this real quick. Okay, I'm doing an investigation. Give me money now. Hang on, I gotta make sure I'm getting this right. Cause... Give me magical bagpipes, please. Uh... Alright, so, okay. Um, the captured stores are the right over here. The capture stores are bulky, and the characters will need a wagon to transport. You already have a wagon to transport. Mm -hmm. If you return these supplies down here, you notice that they all have a symbol on them. You would know the symbol as the symbol for the Lion Shield Cloister. The Lion Shield Coster, sorry. Uh, in Fandolin. 
and uh, there may be a reward waiting for you if you turn them. Uh, there's also underneath. Man, I know there was a. Uh, what kind of supplies are we talking about here? General, you know, like general store supplies, like food and and sundry, sundries and such. Any uh, kind of potions in them? Well, that's what I'm going to get get to. Uh, in addition to the stolen provisions, Clark has a treasure chest uh, over here that contains 600 CP, uh, uh, 110 SP, and we'll go we'll go we'll go five potions of healing. Five potions of healing. Nice. So I guess and a and a jade statuette of a frog with a tiny golden orbs for eyes. A jade frog? statue. Frog, that frog, please, please, frog. No, you give me a frog. I want money. I'm a hold son. on, hold on. We don't know if this also belongs to somebody. Try to see if someone has it. It's in. It was in Clark's chest. I, I know who it belongs to. It belongs to me. Like Nick, like Nick. Let's just kind of make sure that if it doesn't belong to anyone and did belong to Clark, then we can sell it. Best to make sure before we end up randomly doing something stupid. Stupid thing would be not giving it to me so I can sell it. Uh, uh, like, aren't you a man? Uh, like, think so about it. I'd say you roll. Think about it. I'd say roll for it. There you go. Roll a d twenty. To see whether or not we agree with Curtis. Yeah, roll roll for loot. So you can get out of this dungeon. I roll. Oh. Well, I rolled an eight. I rolled an eight on D and D Beyond. I'll roll it. Roll it and roll twenty. Okay, let's see. How about roll a twenty? All right. I go, rolled a nine. Oh, on the left side, you see the symbols there. There's yes. a D. There's a D twenty symbol right there. That's the dice roller. What? So just hover over it. Go down to D twenty and roll. Like so. So you rolled a nine. See, you rolled even better. I rolled an eleven, so I decide I get the frog statuette. <laughs> you're, not, you're the enemies in this story. Yes, exactly. Get get guess Clark just got forty forty GP richer. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah, doesn't matter. Pass it on to his kids. Does he have kids? I don't know. Mm. You can bury you can bury the statue out with him. How about that? I don't respect the man. I don't respect the man. I can I can bury the man, but I'm not going to be respectful enough to bury that statue with him. Uh, so yeah, he doesn't have, he doesn't have that. So far, you guys have been, uh, you guys have gotten through this. You've been put, you've committed goblin side, and, uh, there's the goblin race is still out there. Almost died. Yes. At least two um, of you. So, yes. these goblins have proven to be a, a huge pain in the It's all about the end. Are we getting loot or not? <laughs> the top. You see that where it says Clark's chest at the top in the journal? Yes. That's what it is. Well, two potions. Oh. I made it five to take pity on you guys. So we're each getting a potion of healing. You each can have a potion of healing. Yes, basically what I'm saying. Nice. I can just down it. Oh, the next so, one. Well, that cool. depends on what we're doing next. And we were going to decide that next round. Or next time. Yeah, we'll decide it next time. Um, I don't. I mean, if you guys want to take a long rest here, I wouldn't suggest it. Uh, because you know this still is technically a hideout for bandits, and I, I mean. Yeah, I wasn't going to suggest taking a long rest here anyway, because yeah, we still right. haven't figured out we the rest of the cave, and we wait. still don't know where those people are. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, we should try for a short rest at least and have somebody like 
take watches at the doors. Short rest, uh, short rest, I can give it. Yeah, short rest is an hour. That shouldn't be. And then we bad. can heal. So, does a short rest do any healing? Yes. Uh, hit die. Yes. You know how hit die work? I'm trying to see where short rest is. Okay. Um. Well, I get six health. I get six health back on that eighteen. So I roll hit die. Yours will be D eight. What? You get one you get one hit die per level. So you would have two at this point. There you go. Like what I get one, one per one. level. I just clicked on short rest and it only gave me one D eight. Yeah. Well you can probably click on it again, it'll give you another. I clicked okay, on so I just like rolled twice then. Happened? Yeah, I don't oh. even say short rest. It's at the top. You're on D and D Beyond. I forget, but yeah, it's at the top. Top where? In that gray bar. Yeah. So I um, get so I get thirteen points back. Yes. Am I looking for the short rest button, or am I just rolling the dice? Uh, you can. Click on the short rest button. I don't see it. It's at the oh, top. Okay. Got it. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. And uh, just took one die, right? It, it'll roll one die at a time, but you can roll two twice if you want to. You have you have to hit die. Did I just roll mine? Yeah. Okay. See how a short rest works? Is you can roll as many hit die as you want, or as few hit die as you want. So I'm. Okay, I'm hanging on to my potion because I'm back up to 18. So, uh, is there anything you guys need from me? Because I don't, did I? I don't think I got hit from any of this. Oh, no, back I up don't think you one. did. Huh? I don't think you did. So, okay. you're good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop out. Not being awkward uh, around my friend. Yeah. <laughs> He's cleaning uh, the rest. All right. Bye. <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for DMing, Chris. Thanks. Mm -hmm. We need to decide when we're gonna do our next session. Mm -hmm. Yep. But we can do that in the chat, I guess. Yeah, we'll yep. figure yeah. it out. Yeah, I'm gonna slide out and do some stuff around the house. I'll be <laughs> in the chat. Good luck. All right. Bye -bye. Um, my die is not Bye working, guys. so I guess I'm gonna just roll it here, and that's it. Like. Yeah. What's your What's your um constitution mod uh it's just